track. With some salt and vin chips. Damn. Want that salt and vin? Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I like salt and vin. I just wanted to see if you guys were going to say it. <laughs> Have you seen those videos? Yeah. They trick him into saying the N-word. He's like, salt and vin? And then the guy finishes his set. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> they keep getting people on Twitch streams. <laughs> Even though it's our own, it been real funny. I'm too. No way, dude. Don't do that to me. You ain't getting me. <laughs> too, too on top of that. <laughs> the funniest was one of them was the... You know those big Counter Strike guys? Yeah. And he's like, I don't know how you just got me to say that live on my thing, but I did it. And then <laughs> the the he just said the N word a second ago. He's like, I'm not gonna lie, I did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You got me. Oh, shit. Here, Keeban. Mark Keeban. Oh shit. We don't need to move it. We can see the chat just fine. Okay. Well, the other one's up, so I might as well close the other one for yeah. Cause it's not taking up any of yeah, fuck the internet. Taking up internet. It's taking it and it's stealing it. It's grabbing it and saying, hey there, I got your internet. Hey there, I'm an old star. Oh boy. <coughs> Boygus. Is that what they're saying? Boygus. Do they? Is this a Swiss army knife? It's a little baby Swiss boy. It gets your hopes and dreams and it says, hey, fuck you. Ew. Whose toothpick is that? Is that supposed to be a toothpick? Yeah. Okay. Little toothpick boy. Probably a pair of tweezers on the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to get one of those dad nose trimmers. What do you call those things? Nose trimmer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just nose, yeah. I think you had it right for sure. I was just associating nose trimmers with dads. True. But I need to get one. Oh, yeah, because I just have this uh, like adjustable shaver thing, and one of them's like for like fine detail, so it's like super small. And as you go, <laughs> <laughs> mine has the top that changes off. I just yeah. turn it, and one's a nose trimmer. Yeah. So. Oh, so I have a similar thing, but I don't have the a nose trimmer attachment. Mine's like a full size razor, but yeah, the top yeah. just changes that to different things. I need an upgrade. I don't have nose hair, so what? Yeah, you probably see mine. No. Mm -mm. I pluck them if I see them. I think I do. Or I can just do that, but that's not like it hurts. I don't got any nose hairs, I don't think. Yeah, I just look up there, take some tweezers. No hairs up in that bitch. Mm. I pulled one out, man. Those things get, I don't know why the nose hairs are thicker than regular hairs. One of them was like a fucking string. <laughs> like, it would hurt to pull it out, too. It was like, I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> just this black fucking wire in my nose. Damn. Thicker than your mustache hair. Yeah. It was solid black too, like jet black. Hmm. It Damn. would be like a fucking porcupine hair. Did you start yelling at it and say, why are you just in my nose and not anywhere else? You always have to like pull out one and then you like rub your nose like a thousand times. I've Fuck done that, that so hurts. much it doesn't even hurt anymore. Oh, shit. <laughs> not even a little. A one you cool. Yeah. Trying to be. What do we got here? Huh. Amazon Basics. That's what they call Chandler. Dude, those are the best things ever. So that mouse pad is a giant mouse pad. Well, uh, and I've been shipping, and like most things have to get put in boxes. But all the stuff that are Amazon Basics <coughs> come in a box that you don't have the box again. So that fucking like, mouse pad, they tricked me with that one. Yeah. It was in its own box, and then it well, was in it's a giant enough, box. You can't get through conveyor belts and stuff. Well, it says I, when I ordered it, it says comes in a clear box or a clear package. It said just a, or something, and I was like, like, do you mind or do you want us to put it in an actual box? And I said, mm, I don't care. You can leave it in the clear package. And then it came in its own box, which was it was rolled and it was like that big. And then they put it in this huge box, just that tiny little mouse pad. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people get like mad because I get like certain things that are like way too big for that box. But if there's nothing smaller than that one, it's not gonna go in a fucking small box. Yeah. It's like the diameters of it just slightly too off. But those Amazon basic ones, they fucking are so perfect because you're trying to like get as much shit out as possible in like that certain hour and stuff so your rate's really good mm -hmm. and the Amazon basic ones uh, so what you usually have to do is grab the item <coughs> fill the box put it in there put some shit in there so it doesn't slide around and then tape it and then grab 
this little sticker and then put it on there. The Amazon basic ones, you just have to grab a sticker and put it on there. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, so if you get like a bunch of that shit, your fucking rate's just killer. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Chef says you guys should have a Discord call and channel. I agree. We would Fun. like to set it up. It's just tough. It's tough to trust people. You know? Because... I'm sure you're aware of how <coughs> the internet likes to uh, behave sometimes. Just rude people. Yeah. yeah just yeah. for Twitch. If we were streaming anywhere else, it like, would be good. People but like to come in and drop the N-bomb. We could it. do a YouTube one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Otherwise, how y'all been? I've been doing pretty good, Iron. Yeah. How about you? So, like Howard Stern picks those people on purpose when they do call-ins. <laughs> yeah, he likes that. Because that's... They want to hear some crazy stuff. But Twitch doesn't, so... Right. I also want to hear crazy <laughs> That's stuff. That's what I'm saying, but yeah. I would love to hear him just rant about some crazy shit. You're like, what the fuck? I wonder how difficult it would be to create a website that has, like, an RSS stream feed. I don't know. Kind of hard. A lot of people do it on their own. A lot of people at that podcast yeah. channel so that on Facebook... They were like, is it worth it to post it on anywhere besides my own website? And then people are like, wait, you don't put on, like, there's people that only don't put it on Podbean, not on, they only yeah. put, and someone's like, no, dude, post it on fucking Podbean, YouTube, post Everything. it everywhere. Yeah. There's no point not to post it everywhere. Yeah, everyone was saying, though, they're like, YouTube right now isn't doing so well for podcasts. But everyone was like, yeah, no one really is watching podcasts on YouTube right now. They just listen everywhere else, so. Yeah. Like, that's what they're saying. Just put it on Podbean, because it goes on iTunes. You can put it on Spotify. All right. I can help you all set it up with voice meter. You can set a delay. So that's one thing we don't get. We, we don't know how to do the delay, because if we did have some sort of delay, we could then mute if need be. How do you do it that, It could be your though? sound guy. Right? How do you do that, though? That's well, what he I says. He help us set it up. Live, and then... I mean, but like if I hear anything that shouldn't be said, then oh, then you hear it. Okay, I gotcha. Then so you have to hear it live and later. Okay, gotcha. Now yeah. I was like, <laughs> I would do it in rewind real quick, but that makes more sense. Yeah. Well, if I was just actually paying attention, I'd listen to it live. Everyone else would be on the fifteen second delay, right. and then if there was anything bad, I could beep. Yeah. Hear the beep guy. <laughs> I'd fucking do that. That's <coughs> shit. But you guys is Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and look that up first, Chandler? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking way good at Google. The funniest, searches. the funniest. I can find anything you guys fucking want online. Uh, gay porn. No, just kidding. Um, the funniest was when that Alex Jones one. Um, he's like, Jamie, what's that one website? And they were asking something. Alex Jones knew the exact website. Yeah. <laughs> so he, obviously he does a lot of research because he fucking had that me website memorized. <laughs> Still my favorite thing on that episode of that podcast is the top comment. It's just, hey, Jamie, why don't you pull up the first 40 minutes of that podcast? Yeah. Me? I feel like Alex thought Jamie was, like, really shitty at his job or something. He's um, like, no, that's not the one. And yeah, like, yeah. He was just giving him a hard time. I'm like, just a dick. Yeah. I was like, dude, Jamie's the, Jamie's the fucking man. Alex Jones seems like the type of guy, though, that's, like, he Googles something and he ends up on, like, page, like, 80 of that Google search. Yeah. He's, like, in the depths of, like, We hear all that shit, shit about his fucking family. Oh, yeah. I was like, the fuck? I talked about the How Clockwork Elves things and brought that yeah. up, because I think that's pretty crazy. crazy. It was just like, how'd you end up with a lot of Jones? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Iron Chef says, 15 seconds might fuck y'all up. The standard was 7 seconds when I worked in radio. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't fucking know these things. <laughs> Like yeah, 10, it would be 15. tough because, like, the longer the delay, the longer you have to wait to for beep it. Well, well, and then the more difficult it would be for people to chat because then they're going to be, like, wanting to talk about something that's happened now. 30 seconds ago? Yeah. <laughs> Which. Yeah. yeah. Everyone already says that, though, <laughs> in our chat. Yeah, since we don't. Once you get partnered, you have immediate. But yeah. If you don't have partner, there's already a because that had that one day, seven second delay. That one day, my dad was over in the chat. He was like, every single time I go to say something to you guys, you guys already moved on to the next subject. Yeah. So you just gotta look at him. Do better, dad. That's what everyone keeps saying. Like, yeah, I'm just typing all this stuff out, and then I have to go. Tick, 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 tick. 
Yeah. <laughs> Salty says I always beat him to the punchlines. He's typing out something and I already say it before him. Right. I kind of want to start a podcast with me and all my siblings. Do it. Just tell some I crazy think, stories. I, yeah. I don't know what we'd all fucking talk about for that long, though. Could be anything. I'm sure you all have different um, outlooks on life and different, yeah. like, what's the word? Interests. So, I mean, everyone could be talking about anything. Well, a lot of people think that, like, uh, family members share, like, all the same views, but you get us fucking debating and yeah. Yeah, it gets heated real fucking quick. I just like Cameron and Caden's story about them coming over well, to school and masturbating together yeah. with their friends yeah, all around the same computer. Happened. Telling stories from our childhood, then there's always that threat of violence from Cameron and Caden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really Every podcast like turns into a fight. Yeah. <laughs> and Caitlin can bring a bunch of fucking young people in. True. Cameron said uh, she would post it if we wanted. Did she? Yeah. He's like, she said she'll come on if you want, or she'll post it somewhere. He said he's 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 taking cut though. He says he's her manager. <laughs> <laughs> If she wants to, I think it'd be good. Either have you or Cameron here, too, and just, I don't know what she's into, but yeah. I'm sure she has funny high school stories, too, like everyone else, and yeah, she brings in a bunch of her <laughs> It's pretty funny. She just had parent-teacher conferences. I don't know if she'd be mad about me telling this and stuff, <laughs> but, uh, like, apparently everything's, like, online now. Like, your homework assignments and everything are online, yeah. and... the uh, hell is this, college? Yeah. Like, legit, it's crazy. And uh, Caitlin was always saying that, like, because uh, she was uh, failing English, she was like, well, they fucking uh, only uh, update the assignments and everything, like, once a week and everything. That's why I'm failing right now, because they haven't, like, updated and everything. And I was always like, she's so full of shit. Yeah. Like, she's fucking lying and everything. And, like, my mom would always believe her. And uh, she was, like, never grounded or anything. She was, like, failing yeah. English all semester and stuff. And then my mom went to uh, parent-teacher conferences, and they're like, you haven't logged in one time this whole term. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why she's failing. And they can check and see, like, when you logged in and everything. And she didn't log in once. And then her excuse was like, well, I didn't want to do it, so I didn't do it. <laughs> I was like, fuck, dude. Like, she's too much like the rest I of I was going to say, that's quite seat. the quite the jam <laughs> yeah, answer. That's a fucking ACOX like thing. Like we do, do what we want when we want to yeah. do it, and like that's kind of like how it's been like our whole fucking childhood and stuff. And like her just like her excuse, like she didn't bullshit around. She's like, I didn't want to do it, so I didn't do it. Yeah. And she's like, Yeah, okay. It's kind of hard to argue that <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. No fuck. Well. Yeah, but I, like the whole time, I, and like everyone was always like thinking she was like telling the truth, and I was like, she's so full of shit. Like this is so clear as day. Like she's lying. Like, you can't just be like, oh, yeah, the teachers aren't updating their stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure they're updating their fucking homework yeah, assignments. Sure Especially if it's all online. It's just probably automatic almost at this point. <laughs> yeah. And you haven't logged in once this whole term. That's like, so fuck. Funny. It's like, that's four or something. Fucking 12th grade. The first, the first day of junior high, my dad learned how to log on and look at my grades. <laughs> the first day. And it would be like, I'd be in mid-class and get a text from him at work. Hey, why'd you miss f- 10 points on this assignment? Oh, like, I don't fucking know. I haven't even got it back. <laughs> How do you know about it? <laughs> like, That's so funny. It's something. It was, it's funny now. It sucked during. I bet. Yeah. Sounds real shitty. My mom slowly got more and more lenient with me over the years. Same it, with my dad. It was like, at first she would, you know, fuck, it was stressful. She was always mad. But, yeah. And then over slowly until senior year, like, at first, like, you know, junior high and stuff, like, because I had good grades then, like, 3.0s, I had to have a 3.0 all the time. And, uh, at least then, <laughs> I uh, stopped, and then uh, in high school, I didn't have one 3.0 until, like, I had to get, she's like, all right, you have to get a, at least a 3.0 to get your license. So it's been easy. Like, right. It's not like I'm not smart. I just fucking am lazy. Yeah. And she's like, "You, th- I know you can fucking do it because obviously you want to get your license <laughs> and you did it. And then after that, I was like, and then she's like, nothing lower than a C. And then nothing lower than a C minus. All right, just pass your classes. <laughs> I remember the first time I got a C. 
My dad just fucking came unglued. What? <laughs> yeah, it was bad, dude. And like, I legit had to sit him down and be like, "Listen, I don't, I'm, I'm not understanding yeah. what's going on in the class because it was a math class. Yeah. It was like algebra two or something. Like that. I'm like, I'm lost. And I tried to explain <laughs> to him like, the teacher I had first semester <laughs> is like four chapters behind the teacher I have on second semester. Yeah. I am behind. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Damn. I don't really remember ever telling my dad, like, excuses while family classes, but I think I only failed two classes, and yeah, I talked to Miss Carter into changing one of them. Six Another kids. one, I was just made a fucking, did a packet, and that was it. I liked like Miss Carter. Because for a while, I definitely had asked, because you and I... Never went to a county with <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> we just signed in every day, and there was no way we were passing the class, but I don't remember ever telling my dad anything. I think you guys we, passed. Chandler did. No, I didn't. I failed. Yeah. I didn't really? do t- fucking... I didn't turn in any assignments. How many fucking assignments I gave you guys? God damn No, that it. was first term. Oh, first term. First term, yeah. Because like, they you. said that like we could sit wherever we want, so we like sat together, yeah. and you would always help me out and fucking just... I would change a few answers, and then we'd be golden, and I would, like, get a B, you would get an A, yeah. and it was fucking golden, and you definitely God helped me pass that grade. Yeah, and then but like, second term, we didn't go a second term, day, they're like, I don't oh, think. Uh, first day, they're like, oh, we have a new seating chart, and Forrest and I signed in, walked out, <laughs> never went back, but we signed in every day, so it was like we showed up every day, we just never did any assignments, and then uh, he graduated early, Yeah, she's <laughs> so he wasn't there fucking third term. And I went and talked to her, and I was like, and she said, as long as I show up most of third term and don't be, like, absent more than, like, half the classes, she'll go back, or, and I had a pass with, like, a C, she'd go back and change my F to a B. Oh, nice. And that's what she fucking did. And I Carter was told was the, the same yeah, thing. I was like, what the fuck? But, yeah, two teachers told me that, and they're like, hey, if you fucking uh, come to class <laughs> next term, um... We'll give you an A, and for we'll change, go back and change your grade. I was like, see what the thing is? <laughs> I'm not going to be here anymore. Right. See this fucking school thing? Yee, I'm out. Yeah. And then I just fucking... And, like, because, you know, you're supposed to have... However, I, we were taking accounting, so we'd have to take another math class. I never took fucking... I didn't do any math packets, anything. And I didn't, obviously, only pass one term of accounting. And I still got... They always gave me those, like, weird loophole things where, like, you didn't have to take another math class. And, like, did you guys take chemistry? Yeah. Yeah. I never took chemistry. They said as long as I took other science classes, I didn't have to take chemistry. It's a waste of fucking time. Chemistry is dumb. Yeah, I took yeah. honors and I got in trouble. I took, and went uh, back to fucking animals, Tate. I, I took got in trouble science again. Science exactly. and marine biology. And so I had so many I wish fucking, I would have done that. Yeah. It, they were fun classes and they were super easy. But I had so many science classes that I ended up taking that I could have gotten one of those fucking ribbon yeah. things. That's how my woodwork But it was like, just because I didn't want to take chem- uh, chemistry, I took like too many science classes. Yeah, well. And I always got good grades in them. Because it's fucking super What's that easy. one we have? Wildlife be all by col- or Wildlife. biology? Jesus Christ. Wildlife, Wildlife biology. <laughs> you, me, and Jordan? Yeah. yeah. That was a fun one. And we definitely would have been, like, a lot of trouble in that class. But Brando and all those other kids were in there. And they were always ten times louder than Forrest, <laughs> Jordan, and I. So we were, like, the totally ignored, <laughs> and he loved us. Yeah. Even though, like, we were goofing around the whole time, too, but, like, we just weren't as loud as those other kids. So he just loved us the fuck alone. Did you know Brando and um, two of his friends who we also went to high school with have a viral video? Yeah. Hmm. Him chugging the Mountain Dew. Yeah. They were, oh, uh, I think I have seen that. pretty funny. They were at the bar the other couple weekends ago. I didn't talk to him. I was... It was the day I had fucking really bad acid reflux. So I was just sitting there like this because I had heartburn so bad. But he was talking like to Matt and stuff. I always liked him. He's funny kid. <coughs> so like, the same thing legit happened. A little bit different for the for that happened to Forrest with honors chemistry. So I was in honors. I signed up for honors chemistry, and I can't remember the teacher's name, but she was like, yeah, this little short lady. I remember that bitch. She was real nice, but like. She explained in the front, of the, like, at the start of the class, like, we move at, like, double the pace as normal chemistry class, so if you get lost, you have to get help. And I'm like, okay, cool. So, went through, like, the first um, half semester, like, the first semester, and, like, I got, like, a B plus the first one, and, like, a B minus or something the second one, and I just was, like, I was spending, like, four hours 
like every other night on homework for that class. Fuck that. So I went up and I talked to her. And I'm like, hey, listen, like, what does honors do for me? And she like looked at me and basically just said, nothing. Like she worded it different, but she's like, it's it's not AP. Yeah. yeah. It's not a concurrent enrollment. It's just for people who think they need to be in a faster paced class. Mm-hmm. And I'm like. Get me the fuck out. I'm like, okay, well, can I just transfer? And she's like, yeah, if you want to. And she's like, you're doing better than a lot of people in the class. Like, I don't know why you would. And I'm like, I just don't enjoy it. Yeah. And she's like, well, yeah, if you're not into it. She was really cool about it. And then I went to uh, <laughs> Dr. Tate's class, and uh, he kept trying to give me so much shit because, like, the stuff that he was talking about was stuff we did in, like, the third week of chemistry you know. in the other class. And he's like, well, why don't you, if you know everything, why don't you just take the test? I'm like, <coughs> okay. So I took the test, and I passed it. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then he didn't talk to me the rest of the semester. Do you remember that time Mr. Tate thought we were cheating? I had several teachers think I was cheating, and I <laughs> fucked with, uh, like, what's up, bitch? Well, I remember one time they thought you, Jordan, and I were all cheating because, like, we got, like, a perfect fucking score. So yeah. he, like, separated the three of us. Gave us the test again, and then we all got the fucking same exact <laughs> fucking score. And he's like, "Sorry about that." Was that, was that Drot? <laughs> no, that no, Drot did that with me and Joel. Oh yeah, and Joel. Yeah. All right, B Drot. Yeah. Hey, Bieber. He died. Hey, yeah, he did. Oh shit. He was cool. He had cancer or whatever. I guess yeah. he finally, finally lost the battle. Sadly, <coughs> yeah. he was a good he dude. He was my marine biology teacher. No, he was a yeah, really spot. cool teacher. I yeah. liked him a lot because he did not give a flying no. fuck about people's opinions. I remember, uh, like, yeah. one of the... Or what he said, you know, like... Yeah. He would swear constantly, and, like, he was breaking all the teacher rules, and... The two things that I that stand out to me that I just loved was, um... Some kid asked, like... Because Drought was on, like, some tangent about life or whatever, and the kid's like, well, then what's the meaning to life? Cells make protein. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> cells make protein, we die, and we become carbon. That's all he said, and everyone's like... And then uh, he was tearing someone apart about the about being LDS, uh-huh. calling the bullshit. I was like, I don't think you can talk about this in class, <laughs> yeah. but keep doing it. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, he was so cool. cool. Yeah, I really like McCleary. I, I know right. most people fucking hate him. U.S. government. He right. just just fucking like to put his opinions on Who people. The fuck did I yeah. for U.S. government? Uh, I didn't think there was any other teacher. Uh, I, I think I just yeah I think. It, no, I had uh, fucking. Fuck. What's his name? Rigby? No. The other dude, he got mad at Jordan one time for taking a dump for too long. He's always like, popcorn in a pillow? Oh, Balif? Yeah, that's why he shot US government? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Damn, I would have much rather had him. <laughs> I love Balif because he's just so fucking. His humor was just so fucking dry. He's a yeah. dick. Oh. <laughs> Not to me, but yeah. Oh, yeah, to everyone. I loved it. I was pretty respectful to the teachers. I think that's why I liked McCleary. That was just the well, and uh, I had to do that Supreme Court shit. Yeah. And I was one of the judges. And I was the only yeah. person that, like, chose to be, like, different than the group. So it was always, like, how many? Is there nine judges? Yeah. Yeah, so it was always, like, eight to one. And, like, on, like, two or three different fucking cases. And I was always the one that fucking was, like, it was, like, a 14-year-old that was uh, being, like, tried as an adult for, like, uh, the death sentence. And I was like, I don't think we should be for fucking murdering 14-year-olds. Like, their brains aren't them. developed. That's what we and call like term abortion. Yeah. <laughs> but, the, like, the Supreme Court actually chose to, like, uh, give him the death sentence. Yeah. And I was the only one that, like, didn't went against it. And he was like, so who's the one that, like, was against it? And then he, like, asked me, like, uh, why. I was like, their brains aren't developed and he's fucking 14. No 14 year old should be fucking sentenced to death for like killing like a few people. And then he's like, I respect your views. And then he just fucking. He always loved me after after that. So I never had to do that bullshit. See, I lost a lot of respect for him. Like, I didn't like the fact that he was putting his views. So heavily. So, because like he would talk about like opposing views and then he would say his view like super uppity and like positive. And then he would say the other view and he'd be like, yeah, and then this is. But the one day that really... So if you didn't know what the fuck was actually going on, you would yeah. just, like, go with the one exactly. he was, like, talking more about. The one about. thing that really pissed me off, and we got in a big argument, and then I saw him at graduation, and he shook my hand and apologized, which I respected, but... So I took it when I was in 11th grade, 
instead of 12th grade. I think I did too. And I was the only 11th grader in the class. So there was just the only one. Mm. And there was a day where, I don't remember if we did it or not, but there was like a senior like field trip something or the other. So all the seniors were off campus. And I was the only one who showed up for class. And another teacher, like he sat there and he's like, well, just do homework or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then another teacher came in and was talking to him. And he was making the biggest fucking deal about having to sit in there and watch me to this other teacher. And, like, I looked at him, like, I'm not going to go anywhere. So if you want to just go do your thing, like, oh, yeah. it's cool. He's like, well, I can't. I can't just leave a student unattended during class. It's like being a dick to me. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck to tell you, guy? Like, and we sat there and, yeah. It was, just, yeah that's fucking stupid. So why are you giving me shit for it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, B. Burt says, I definitely cheated in world geography because the teacher only gave us points if all the places were spelled correctly, so I wrote all the spellings on my hand. Hey, you know, sometimes you got to do stuff to get by. I was always so good at world geography. Mm. Mm. I always loved that. It was kind of that in history. You know, my fucking one damn problem is still, mm. I still can't spell to save my life. I spell worse now, and I blame uh, it on my goddamn phone for autocorrect. Cause I used to be really good at, it. like, right after high school is when I actually was. I feel like I've gotten better at spelling over the years, dude. I, I was till like the last two years, and I'm going downhill. So I used to be fucking horrible. I'm pretty sure you two could attest to that. Mm, I don't remember, but yeah, I couldn't tell you. So I had Blackham, who oh. I liked Blackham, but I, I liked her too. It. But she fucking hated me. She was a little me, much. Just, I was not smart enough to be in her class, but. uh during senior year, she started doing spelling tests yeah. just because she thought people couldn't spell. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, how it worked was there would just, just be 20 words, three lines, and one of them would be the correct spelling. And if you didn't get, I think it was 17 out of 20, you had to come in after school and retake it. And, like... I'm pretty sure I came in a bunch of She gave times. me so much shit because, like, I had A's all through her class, like, all the way through senior year. But I always had to retake the goddamn spelling test. So she would give me so much shit. Like, in the middle of class, too, like, she'd be like, Oh, Wes, what'd you get? Another 16? I'd be like, Damn. Thanks, Blackham. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for shouting me out that I'm have to come in again. Damn, I never, uh, yeah, I never had to do any after school shit. It was like so that. hard if you didn't have Blackham the first semester, though. Never had yeah, that bitch Because you had her the full year. Yeah. You went from a class from fucking the teacher didn't fucking teach you anything to a class where teacher was fucking hard as shit. Yeah. That's what I deal with senior what? It was a fucking worst thing. That's what world. happened to me with why I had why I got my only C was because of algebra. Mr. Winder should not be a teacher in high school if you're from Woods Cross and hearing this. Or Rigby. He sucks. Worst teacher I ever had. I, I remember I went from uh Rigby to, was it Winkleman? Yeah. They both oh, taught. Man, socks. Yeah. Winkleman was a tough Rigby, teacher. the fucking first two semester or er, first two terms. Anus. I built a fucking uh, modeled airplane, turned it in for my term project, got 100% in his fucking class. Second term, I turned in that same exact fucking modeled airplane, got 100%. And so I had a hundred fucking percent for fucking two terms. That was the only thing I ever fucking did in that class. I never turned in a single assignment. I turned in one model airplane for two fucking <laughs> terms. So and then I went to fucking Winkleman and I actually had to do assignments. That's And all I had done is watch videos for yeah. fucking half That's a year. That's what I heard was, guy, because I never had Rigby, but if you just talk to him, he'd just pull up videos and yeah. watch it. Yeah, you just watch fucking movies the whole time. It was the fucking easiest class. And as long as you didn't talk, you didn't get assignment. So I was like, uh, I'm going to sit here and not talk and then fucking give him a plane at the end of the term. I have two. How crazy is that? I give him a fucking plane as a project. I'll sum up Winder's class for you. Because everyone loved that guy. I don't know why. He's a shitty teacher. <laughs> hey, Winder, can you kick that moose? I heard about that. He's a that. shit. The motherfucker can kick a moose that's like, I don't know. Eight feet in the sky, it's not that cool. Yeah. I couldn't kick a moose eight feet in the sky, though. He, I, I don't think I had him as a teacher. I think it, he was like my homeroom or whatever. What do we call that shit? I don't remember. Free period? Yeah, like yeah. whatever. Like That's who I had. I did have the weirdest... So I saw him try to kick that fucking moose. <laughs> I did have like, the, Shut first, up, the first experience of realizing that I want my wiener sucked in that class. So there was this like... 
goth chick that was in that class and she came in with this like ginormous popsicle and she was just fucking deep throwing the shit out of it like were you just like well, no. <laughs> no because there was a bunch of guys in that class who were like all like flirting with her or whatever and she brought it in and she started like just fucking slobber knocking that thing and I just remember every guy in the class was just like and I remember I think I had the class with like it was Levi and someone else and we both just like see that shit right now like <laughs> what is that what is going on and damn i never had any good experiences like that i saw some gross puss once i don't know if that was a good experience <laughs> <laughs> i was like i'm sitting in the middle of class like cross my legs like damn what's going on i saw africa's badge one time um Ew. <laughs> when was that in english do you remember uh was it jameson that the the desks like facing each other yeah. is like two sides facing each other uh, she's wearing a skirt just like this one day i was like brooke <laughs> <laughs> That was when you used to put your fucking pornos in other books. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was that class. <laughs> Wait, who was Africa? I don't remember. Uh, uh, some weird chick. One time, she, we were, I think we were in Mr. Tay's class, and me, Jordan, and Forrest were just laying into her. Because she said there wasn't... We she, <laughs> yeah, she was all fucking defending Africa. The same. We're like, like, there's advanced civilization there. No, we're like, there's just fucking and we're like, tents no, there's and tents sticks. And, oh, sticks and they're just running around with lines and stuff. There's no buildings <laughs> and stuff like that. And she just was fucking going crazy. <laughs> like, I've never seen someone so fucking mad in my entire life. Which is funny for us. That's why we yeah. kept saying more and more right. stuff. Yeah. Like, we use rocks as tools. <laughs> yeah. And... Yeah, she was not about it at all. I so, love the nickname. So, yeah, for <laughs> fucking Endless Africa. Africa for her. I remember, the, do you remember when we had that's the... That's probably why people said we bullied them for us. Probably. But there was the girls that we had the codes for all the popular girls. Yeah. yeah. I just remember yeah. one. I'm not going to say names. But one of them... I don't remember all of them. One was like Mailbox. One was Lawnmower. And my favorite was Lawnmower. I don't remember this. It was like 10th, 11th grade. I don't I kinda know. I don't remember it. It was when I was hanging out with Brock and Cody and all them. And Joel, when I first started. And one of them, I won't say her name, but we called her Lawnmower because she was so strong. She could lift a lawnmower <laughs> over her head. I remember the squid. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Yaris. Yeah. I don't remember her as a person, but I just remember, <laughs> I just remember someone named Yaris. Yaris and Mole, they're best friends. Yeah. I don't remember Mole. They lived like up in Farmington. I just spilled beer on the golf course. Somehow. They live on the golf course? They live by some golf course. Oh, almost. That'd be way Fucks. cool. Yeah, I live out on a uh, hole number 14. I got like five administrative U's in high school. <laughs> You want to know the song of crazy? What? Ninth grade to twelfth grade, I had one administrative view, and that's it. And that was for holding up that fucking sign at the. Hmm. D- Tasty I, yummy. Yeah. The classic. I didn't even get a fucking U for stealing the wildcat. <laughs> oh, I got so many U's. I got failed a class because I, I had got a million U. fucking parking tickets, but I never. Does the Dick Taste Yummy picture still exist? Yeah. Yeah, man, Will has it. I, wish I might have it. Mm. We should post that one up. That was a good one. You guys you all think you're hard in high school. <laughs> and then I took off my shirt and ran away from that fat bitch. Whatever the teacher, or that vice principal. Oh, yeah, yeah. She yeah. came for these guns. I, and I, I just remember just that one girl shirt. that was like an SBO officer and was like, Forrest, take that down. They're going to think we're gay. And you're like, we are gay. <laughs> <laughs> And just kept holding it up. <laughs> and everyone in front of us was like turning around taking pictures. And we were like, yeah, we're getting caught for sure. It was hilarious. That was the first thing I heard about the next day. Or like Monday or whatever. She I just remember us strolling in and then like them calling us into the office and like they didn't really say anything and they just, like, they just like fucking rolled out this picture and like turned it around. No, he was mad it. that because it was my profile picture the next day. <laughs> So he's like, why would you post? He's like, you would have gotten away with it. Because, like, he's like, no one was. Everyone else was posting yeah, but, that shit. Yeah, but no one, yeah, well, that's true. Everyone posted, even Aaron, he was not graduated. And he fucking posted it, but, like. Because it was fucking hilarious. So many people posted stuff. He's like, it's your profile picture. And then they were going to send us to risk management. Risk management? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For what? Sexual something. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> what, a motherfucker can't think dick tastes yummy? It's just because Sheldon, so for some reason, liked me. For some reason, I'd never really got in trouble. Like I had never been in his office before. I had talked to Sheldon so many fucking times. Nice. Go Eagle says, I remember back in middle school, I was in 8th grade, and these two girls were in 8th grade. 
Oh, you were in sixth grade. They were in eighth grade. They got in a big fight, and like one girl tore the other girl's shirt off, and a lot of freshmen got to see some boobs. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> but I toasted the boy. Yeah. I used to have it. Like little Jordan Cooper, Nick, Calgary, Brett. Brett. Damn, send that to me. I want to post that shit. Like, little Forest. Little Forest boy. Is that the dictator? Hey, young Chandler. <laughs> Classic. Damn. Is there any Woods Cross like alumni pages for our class? I'm gonna go post it on there. Hopefully. I like how I'm in my so you know like the um, senior pictures that you do? The giant group senior pictures? Yeah. I like I'm not in our senior picture, but I'm in this the when we were in eleventh grade, when we were juniors, I'm in their senior picture. <laughs> Wasn't I with you? Yeah, I think it's you, me and Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in the senior year one, but I'm in the yeah, senior one. See. Jo- I love hearing stories of Jordan because he just he, he happened to be everywhere. Fucking yeah, we were just so crazy. Yeah, we were with Bryce and we were like, Hey, you wanna go get in that? Um, and then for we some had reason a, it won't let me Can you screen shit? Do you remember uh, Two steps ahead of me. Do you remember <laughs> Holberg or whatever? The yeah, yeah, yeah. Gym coach. Yeah. That guy smoked weed with a lot of people. Yeah, but <laughs> we're like, we're like, hey man, can go get in the junior picture. He's like, yeah, why not? <laughs> so we went. Um, we went and like, cause my cousin, you know, Bryson and stuff, and I knew all the seniors. And it's like, so we're just standing there in the pictures with all the seniors, and everyone's like, they're not seniors. And then Bryson's like, shh, shh, shh. he's like, yeah, Corbin, Bryson, all those guys just hanging out with him. Rand, we're just standing there. Oh God, <laughs> just standing in the senior picture, but it's not ours. And I'm not in my own, but if you go back, they're gonna. Th- Technically, I did graduate in 2011. So, True. that's the 2011 picture. You're right, you're right. <laughs> so, Bebert says the only time I got called to the principal's office when was in 8th grade because I slapped a boy in the face. <laughs> I probably had it coming. Go Eagle says the worst thing I did was throw a rock at the PE teacher's head. Hey, we had a friend that threw a snowball at someone's yeah. head, but it kind of fucked him <laughs> in the long run. Um... Toasted says, I went to the principal's office because someone broke, uh, what is that word? Urinal. Urinal. I was in the general vicinity at the time. <laughs> so, yeah. I went to the fucking principals and school cops so many times. Like, like, come on. Ah, here we go again. So I'm trying to think. I The only times I did were in junior high. I punched Alec in the face on the school bus. <laughs> so, what bad Alec? Well... Weird kid. Well, just the fact that like we're all hanging out now. Yeah. yeah. The best thing about that is, so I didn't even know Alec that much, right? And it was all because <laughs> dumb story. It was all because he was throwing shit out the window and he threw and <coughs> hit my mom's car because uh, we were down by my house. Yeah. And she was like churning out of where you turn in on 1500. Mm-hmm. And I just saw it, and I was like, fuck that. And I went up and just punched him. I didn't know how to throw a punch then. I was just a fucking dumb kid. Um, but later on, when we were in high school, he shows up. And he's been on the podcast um, a couple times now. He's in one of my, like, lifting classes. And he's like, remember that time you punched me in the face? I'm like, oh, yeah. And he's like, watch this YouTube video. And it's, I can't tell you guys what the YouTube video is, but... It's, uh, I think it's called, like, Moonlight something, and it's real. It's one of those videos that you shouldn't laugh at, but you laugh at. Dang. Wow, I like Alec. He's a funny kid. Boy, I remember the you. first time. Have a good night, Big Pop. I ever met Alec. Well, like, he had, like, always, like, laughed and, like, said a bunch of funny shit on, like, my social media accounts, but I'd never, like, met him in person. And I remember... Uh, 12th grade, I was trying to leave, uh, I think it was, like, sports psychology class, and yeah, his class was, like, across the way, and we were all, like, waiting, and he was like, hey, Chandler, Chandler, hey, and he was, like, waving and stuff, and I was like, I had no idea who that fucking guy is, and Joel was in the class, so, like, him and I just, like, turned and, like, walked back into the class and just totally ignored him, because <laughs> I had no idea who the fuck that kid was. I'm trying to think, I got suspended twice in junior high. One for the Alex. I don't remember what the other one was. I never got suspended. But I got a whole lot of fucking... I never got suspended either. I want it. I want to go home for the goddamn day. <laughs> never got caught. 
I remember getting called NGC. in. NBC. Because everyone was making it. <laughs> no, it's NBC. What? They've never been caught. Yeah, NBC. Oh, did I say M? I thought you said NGC. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. NBC. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was like... Because we did a lot of stupid shit in high school. Yeah, never been caught. <laughs> in the 40s on the fucking roof. Came super drunk to school. You guys are just the ultimate trolls, though, because like there'd be times where you guys would be doing shit that everyone thinks you were doing, like... You were drinking or smoking pot, and then it would just be something completely not that. <coughs> like the day we were in assembly, and I sat next to you guys, and you're all passed around a flask, <laughs> and then someone handed it to me, and I opened it up, and it was just pixie dust. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? I wasn't there then. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was after I graduated. Yeah, that was after you left. The, that's when. Yeah, last... that's when I got replaced. Remember, you had to find friend replacements. Yeah. For me and Brock, <laughs> and it was Ryan and Colton. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Even though Jordan graduated early too. Oh, Jordan's yeah. still around. What? Jordan was still kind of around. That's true. He looked high every single day when yeah. I ever saw him. For the last <laughs> half of senior year, that was definitely the most fun. Yeah, was it there? Yeah, I remember, uh, like, after that assembly, we were, like, passing around to all of these other people and stuff. And then the principal came up and stuff, and uh, it was, like, one of the football players, and he, like, hurried and, like, took a whole bunch. And we just, like, we stick in there, like, all right, you're in trouble now. And they, like, try to, like... Uh, get all of us to, like fall and they're like it's just pixie six like no biggie and like Ryan was in the middle of this <laughs> yeah. which is like the weirdest part because like all of us would have been drinking there's actual alcohol <laughs> right. Right. and people but that it was just pixie six Ryan's our then, super LDS or super religious friend yeah. yeah and then the principal just like poured it out and was like alright oh, you just get out of here <laughs> It's so funny. I still have one of you guys' flasks. Yeah. And someone, I can't remember what kind of booze was it, because they were used for booze. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them fool you. Right. It just it smells like... basketball m- games? Yeah. That was, oh, that was the worst. We, we went to when Bountiful they- High's basketball yeah. game, and we were just fucked up. And we were drinking, and then one of the kids had the green laser pin. like, all right, we're searching everyone on the way out. We're like... And we had, like, two flats. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, don't do that one. Didn't we have, like, an air horn, too? Yeah, we had, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had an air horn and a whole bunch of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like in basketball we're, game. We're, we're searching everyone. Like, oh, well, let's just run now. <laughs> Maybe they won't get us. <laughs> this crew one time was telling me that I was trashy, that we were always drunk at high school. I was like, dude, we were fucking cool. You were <laughs> trashy. <laughs> We were drunk. You know that sounds like to me is she was mad that she wasn't involved in the yeah, fun. Probably, mm-hmm. definitely. You missed out, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Let's see. Go Eagle says okay. boys' restrooms. Um, lagging. I can't read. Lagging back I in middle school. One. Which one? The funniest memory? Oh, toasted. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> I can't imagine what middle schools are like right now with vapes being so popular and such, right? Yeah. The funniest memory was senior year, um, senior prank my year. A group of kids broke into the driver's ed cars and had the keys, drove all the cars to the entrances of the school and blocked them with the cars. That's pretty solid. That's a good one. And then Big Papa says, I almost got sent to the principal's office for pissing in some pipe in the bathroom. I didn't know it was it, but there was some type of important wire in there and it fucked up the power <laughs> <laughs> i like to think of that mindset you walk in the bathroom like go ahead and piss on that <laughs> my favorite was uh man we, i like thinking back to us in high school it was fucking we were assholes like, scum we were real scum we played this game we called to be. <laughs> yeah we wanted it to be true we're like we played this game in the bathroom it's called where did i pee <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. And then you're like, you were just like, we didn't flush, find where I peed. And you're like, look around. And then the plant in the corner of the bathroom was just soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> and then Joel would always pee with his pants all the way down like a little kid. And then oh, freshman or uh, freshman? I don't, I don't know. It's when Sophomores. It, those. Yeah, freshman. Yeah, something. Yeah, they would always freak the fuck out. Remember when we were handing out those porn cards we got in Vegas? Yeah, and then Jeff took the reps. Yeah. Still respect him for that. uh, That was junior year, yeah. Yeah. 
and then we came back and we had like giant sacks. You know, of the cards. Yeah, 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 we were doing what they do too. We would go. Yeah, <laughs> we, oh no, I remember <laughs> that for sure. And then we like hand them out to some kids, and some kids were like, some nerdy kid would like run up and be like, oh yeah, thanks, thanks. And then they look and see what they were like. Oh. Jesus, no, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I gave so many yeah. to Jeff and he was hiding in places and he got caught putting them somewhere yeah. and he didn't tell about us so thanks yeah. Jeff Real OG. respect you respect yeah. Yeah. well he was the idiot that like we gave him some and he tried to like put them up on some teacher's thing yeah or something. I was in the class I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> so he got caught like in the middle of trying to do something stupid yeah, but it still didn't wrap because yeah, they wanted. He took the wraps for all of them, like all the rest of the cards. Damn, got suspended for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> Which Jeff? M. Oh damn, nice. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking nice of him. <laughs> Remember that time he hit Aaron in the face? <laughs> and you double. <laughs> Punch him double in the face. Go go no. go! Eagle says. I remember we had a sub in middle school in ELA class. So me and my friends covered a whole window in split wa- or spit wads. So about three days later, our teacher came back and thought the window was full of bird shit. So she had people take out a piece of paper and write names of people who did it. The whole class ratting on our game. Damn, dude. That's fucked up. Fever yeah. says, ha ha ha, you boys need to pee anywhere and everywhere. True. True. We were just dicks. We just did fucked up shit constantly in high school. It was funny. It was there real. Was, we had no conscience. Besides yeah. the, okay, so I think we can all unanimously say the grossest thing was the poop thing. Yeah, I didn't do it. I know. You, neither of you guys actually did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was real funny. <laughs> it was so funny. I don't know. They're still, like, number one. No, watching. I'm not saying it's funny that happened, but oh, just... Oh, well, yeah, I didn't go. I wasn't there. I just... <laughs> The number two fucked up. Wait, was it? Yeah, it was there. The most fucked up things I think happened was the door. That was in high school. Okay, but still. Like <laughs> that, and then the that door fault, fucking get better smashing. Locks. Those two things Wait, I Wait, okay, hold like, on. What's the door? Someone wanted to see if they could kick someone's door down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They should get better locks. That... Th- that's that nice. is like probably the most fucked up, and then the indoor what? pumpkin smashing. Spread poop down teacher's porch. Was that the most fucked up? Let's just poop on a porch, like <laughs> kicking in someone's door, or like breaking shit in someone's house, like. Yeah. Oh, didn't you guys do the pee thing? You peed in a bottle and tipped it, so when mm, people open up the door. I never did. Well, yeah, we definitely did. I that. didn't. I didn't pee in any cup, but like we were, we were there. Because that was the most fucked up one, yeah. like. I don't know, because the color like one's just more funny, but can you imagine just be like sitting <laughs> on the couch, and then all of a sudden you hear a bunch of bangs and like some, some other shit, door. and then there's just, you're either your door's down, or there's a bunch of broken pumpkins all over the fucking place. Do you know what I say? That's their fault. Lock your fucking doors, <laughs> number one. Number two, now they I guarantee that second house has much better security around there, and now no one's ever going to steal oh. their shit. Did you, you kick in a door to impress a girl? No, I did do to impress a girl. She wasn't even going to come. Sure it was, Tim. No, she wasn't even going to come. But I said, I bet you $50 you can't do it. And then we were leaving. I was like, okay, I can do it for sure. And then we were leaving. She's like, I'm coming with you guys. Gotcha. Yeah. Damn. But it was definitely into I didn't take his 50 no, Well, she could have been there regardless. But instead, I didn't take his $50. Because that was way after high school, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a year, maybe? Yeah, a year after high school. Yeah. And I didn't take his $50. But I did make him buy me some nice breakfast. <laughs> Isn't it weird to think that like first two years out of high school have been like five years ago? Yeah, that's the prime of my life. Yeah. That's where I peaked. God, don't say that. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Like both of us. Hundred <laughs> oh, no. percent. Yeah, I was getting laid. I fucking did cool stuff. You can still get laid. You just choose Went not to, to. Parties. Yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Definitely yeah, but I don't laid, just. But like, I don't know, no one just actively it. tries to lay me though. <laughs> before it was like five girls that I'd have to put work into. True, true. Now it's like I have to put in work with some a bunch of girls I met on Tinder and yeah, that's why it's just not fun anymore. Before I could go to parties and they're like, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that is do crazy shit at those parties though. Yeah, that's why I got that's laid. That's it would make you stand out. Yeah, and now I don't fucking go parties. We go to parties, we're just not doing crazy shit there's anymore. Not even, there's, there's, no, like, there's no fucking point. There's like three women there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's disgusting, Googles. <laughs> People in school used to take the soap dispensers and piss in it. Dude, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a good prank. It's nasty for sure, but it's a good prank. Yeah, that is a good prank. It's fucking gross, but it's quality. Mm -hmm. I don't know any other fucked up stuff I really did. I just was late a lot. That's what was my other. Yeah, life. I remember fucking me and Joel working in the dentist's office, and Forrest would come in like 20 to 30 minutes late every day, and he would try to sneak past us. Sometimes you get like real low and like crawl past the desk and like, we see you. <laughs> yeah, do all the <laughs> Or he would just like completely like, ignore us and walk super fast <laughs> right on by. We're like, yeah, we see you, Forrest. Like, you need a fucking note, dog? There's so then, if you know what? any what? college parties, I'm coming. But the funny part was, like, Joel and I weren't even supposed to be in that class. Like, we were technically in woodworking, but Marshall oh, right, had no right. fucking help, so he just sent us down there. Then we had H and, like, 130% in that class. That's what I like Those were the good old days. We would drink two beers and be trashed. Yeah. I remember, like, the one time Oh, we dude, I remember that time we, like, mixed shit with, like, hot chocolate or something? That was you. You fucking made the Nesquik vodka. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that time. What? Uh, Nesquik vodka? That's so gross. It was whipped vodka. Oh, yeah. And, like, oh, it was awful. <laughs> so, you know, well, some kid was like, hey, I'm having a birthday party. It's going to get crazy and everything. And then we show up with booze, and Forrest and I are the only ones that are drinking at the whole party. That happened well, several they times. This. Well, like, I, like, they said it was going to be crazy, and we are going to have a party. <laughs> Don't invite us to parties. And then, yeah, and then we show up, and, like, I. Did a lot of work to get like a few beers and fucking some liquor and stuff, and then no one drinks but Forrest and I. <laughs> yeah. Take me to these parties, like Sheldon. Yeah. I don't got the confidence. I do, but I. I don't know. I don't want to just wanna walk to, party to random parties. Shot. If you yeah, take us to parties, room. we'll come. Let's go right now. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing tomorrow, Sheldon? What are you doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you teach us some dance moves? I saw you dance. Like on Footloose. I saw you dance on. You guys want to remake that whole movie? Damn, I'm Damn. done. That'd be cool. Scene for scene. <coughs> Can I, I dibs the one where he's getting mad in the fucking warehouse, smoking cigarettes and throwing beer bottles. I dibs the tractor scene. Okay. I'm not stopping. So we're all gonna play the same character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're all Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Dude, that movie would be so good. That all would this, be good. All of a sudden, it's just West Kevin Bacon. <laughs> This would be the best Damn. thing. And then it's Chandler Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin great. Bacon has quite the body transformations. So when we're not playing Kevin Bacon, we play a different person in the movie. <laughs> right. We just wear wigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be such a good movie. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> scene for we're scene re this, re right? recreation of fucking Footloose. <laughs> oh, who could who could see the fighting scene? <laughs> I'm fighting myself. <laughs> That'd be fucking you great. You kick your own ass. You just have to have cowboy boots and you have to jump off something fucking high and just... Whoa. We know Don't plenty of people that are good at making movies, right? Yeah. Alright, anyone listening want to make a movie? Yeah, you want to do it for the fucking <coughs> clout. Let's go. Yeah. We don't have to do the whole movie, I guess. We can do a trailer first to get us some funding. Right. <laughs> no, we have to do the whole thing. <laughs> it's like in uh, it's always sunny when they're what they what movie they're creating when he has a black face in it. Oh, Lethal Weapon. Yeah, Lethal Weapon. But then they switch characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. One oh six. One oh six. Damn. Seven minutes left. Keenan. I haven't talked to Keenan. Keenan would be a he great guy. He was guess. always into the fucking film. He was always super good too. Keenan was one of the nicest people that I. Yeah. I went to school with him since. Well, I fucking day. hated Mill Creek, and then uh, Keenan and like Sheldon and uh, is it Brian and Bryce? I think that those Blake twins. And Brian. Blake and Brian. Like all <laughs> Brandon and Bryce. I don't know. You're close. <laughs> they're B names. Yeah, I knew they were both B's, but like those were the only ones that also came from Mill Creek, and they were all super nice. Yeah, that they're the only ones I really talked to like, that in Mill Creek. Did you ever get to meet Abraham? Yeah. Oh. He my mom, he, yeah, he's a fucking nice my kid. mom, uh, cause she taught special needs and his little brother is, so she taught his little brother. Yeah. yeah. I was glad they were the only ones that came from fucking Mill Creek. Does yeah. Cameron, um, I don't know his last name, still do Blue Fluid Studios? I don't think so. Hmm. Cause remember Jordan Fredrickson was in remember that one video? Yeah, that actually. was hilarious, actually. Maybe you, you, you went to, to Mill him. Creek? Did, hey, who's your vice principal, Mrs. Jorgensen? I know she was, but I don't know. Yeah, before her you, ever. but she. Because uh, it was Chris's. Yeah. Ah. 
Yeah, Sheldon or Shell Shock. Yeah, those guys have all been friends for so long. Tell them, tell them everyone over here say uh, to get in touch, and they're all cool. And we miss them. Yeah. The good guys. Tell them we want to recreate that whole movie, <laughs> but all three of us are Kevin Bacon. Our uh, our really good friend, our friends Joel and Aaron. That's their mom. That's the vice principal. Yeah. <sighs> I wonder what his dad's doing now. Because mm-hmm. you you seen that like uh, Quest Star is in Quest Star mm-hmm. Dominion Energy mm-hmm. that building the same that he was always working at wasn't he like the CPA or something yeah but it's not Quest Star anymore it's that other company I bet they so bought him out high up no, if actually you're a CPA you can go fucking work anywhere yeah you can walk on anywhere making a hundred grand usually yeah I wish that'd be the dream. If you still remember your first day moving and going to Mill Creek. Where were you from originally, Shell Shock? Yeah, it's fucking... <laughs> but... South Davis is weird. I didn't... That, I didn't... Wasn't, I didn't fucking start becoming me till... Or... The the me people know till high school. I, I was like South quiet. Davis was more like how my old middle school was. It was fun. Yeah, um, I, I, I liked it. That's when I started beginning... Well, Less LDS, less rich, and more fights. That's the sequ- That's or, like where I came from. And then there was fights at South Davis. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, like, South Davis would have been like more of my environment. I wonder how many views that one Eli and that one kid's fight videos up to now. I don't know. That was the worst fight. Yeah. I mean, for junior high though, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. I just wanted more action. I wanted to stand up and do actual <laughs> fight protection. I was like, less defense, more fucking <laughs> right, offense. More haymakers. Give me your tater tots. I just remember everyone talking about that for a couple of days. Because mm-hmm. the video spelled wrong, too. Whoever made it spelled Mill Creek wrong or something like that. And then Anthony, don't want to say last name, but fucked that kid up in the hallway one time. Oh, and knocked yeah, his shoe off. <laughs> that kid was big as fuck for junior high. He's the same kid that put his arm through that goddamn window, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I like he's him. a he's a really cool kid. Yeah. Um, he says I, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say salty for some reason. I don't like, but I was temporarily living with my cousins. Split grapes, spilt grape soda on my crotch. Made me look like I pissed myself. But I eventually walked in. I think I saw the handicap class, and I thought the whole class was a handicap school. <laughs> <laughs> On your first day at Mill Creek. That's rough. Yeah, that's fucking way rough. I moved from South Weaver, so basically South Ogden. I was going to some ghetto school, Sunset Junior High. Gotcha. gotcha. When I first went to Mill Creek, uh, I had a class, and uh, I became friends with the girl that had sat right next to me. Mm-hmm. And her boyfriend happened to be like the school douchebag. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I can't remember his last name. It was like Brandon something. The, yeah. Those are the kids that just really like. So first day, like straight out of the gate, start talking to this girl. Yeah, her boyfriend was the fucking biggest douchebag in the fucking country. Damn. Right. Yeah. Can I have you a little vaporizer? Uh, all right, which one? No, not that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I got kind of lucky because I was just... Safe like, for work vaporizer. <laughs> I just happened to be friends with most, like, I yeah. just was made friends with everyone and then one dumb incident at the end of seventh grade, I got bullied for for like eighth grade into ninth grade. And then, like, not like hard bullied. Like I still had all my other friends, but yeah. everyone was a dick to me in fucking junior high. <laughs> Just because I was small. Yeah. They put me goddamn trash cans, but my own goddamn. Friends. Everything got better when I started <laughs> hanging out with. No, the not you, trash but like can. when I started yeah. talking to like Tial and stuff. Yeah. Because like uh, I think him and I were both behind in like certain classes, and it was like a class of like people that were like behind a little bit, mm-hmm. and. <laughs> That's where, like, we first started talking and stuff. And then once I started talking to him, like, in the hallways and stuff, all those other kids kind of just fucking backed off. Ooh. Which um, was a lifesaver. Do you remember Drew and Drew? And Drew and Drew? Not Drew. I was going to say someone else built after him. Uh, he moved away. Drew something. I can't remember. No. Oh, I, I became so. friends with him, and he knew all the hot chicks. So I was like, this is a good group. Uh, I hang out with him more often. We did track together, but he's he moved away in ninth grade, I think. Did he have like? 
Yeah. Like, you'd always flip his hair like that. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, okay. I know. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah. Everyone hated him. I, I don't like them. Yeah, but, yeah. And my mom, uh, I talked to his mom and stuff, but, yeah, he moved away. Um, do you remember Mac, really tall? Yeah. I hung out with Mac a little bit. Yeah. Because I became friends with him, and then I was friends with him in Ski and Snowboard Club, because I guess Sam had was in it, too. And but he had his girlfriend at the time, so like that's why I fucking joined Ski and Snowboard Club. I was like, dude, I'm a snowboard, you know, can snowboard every day. Right. And like after school, we just go up and, and then I just, and then Mac was really good, so I was like not very good at the time. So I was like learning, and I couldn't, so I did a lot of snowboarding by myself. Then I was like, this fucking guy with his girlfriend. <laughs> hey, is it possible for the last few minutes of this game? What? With that no was, sound. Yeah, with no sound. Yeah, we yeah. could probably do that. Um, it's got like four minutes. I can just full screen. But it's one thirteen, one thirteen. See, that's the thing is like I don't. There wasn't anyone in junior high that I ever had problems with besides like one specific group. Push my cursor. And I was, it was all because I was a dumb little boy. What group? <laughs> I uh, the Richie girl group. Uh, I told the story on here before. It's because I had two friends who liked to fuck with me, and then. <laughs> I said one girl happened to be cute, and then it turned into this uh, big ordeal. <coughs> yeah, fucking. Yeah, kind that, of unfortunate that, that, that to I, have like a bunch of a good group of friends throughout my life. Man, because like in like kindergarten till like fifth grade, I had like group of friends in like West Valley, West Jordan area, and then when I moved to Cohen Heights, like it always takes like a year or so. For like me to make like good group of friends, but then like Calvin Hines had a really good group of friends, and then moved up to Bountiful, and took like a year, and then started getting like good, good group of friends. But yeah. it was like in between times and stuff. Definitely suck. But I wish I could uh, get some of my old friends from uh, Calvin Heights on here, because like there's definitely some crazy fucking stories from that area. We uh, just keep talking because it's gonna play sound for a sec. Yeah. We uh, saw. Our old uh, uh, next door neighbor uh, okay. at the bar last weekend. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I didn't talk to him though. But so yeah, no, they're still Oops. around and hanging out. Yeah. Well, I heard that he got like super preppy and kind of weird and stuff. And yeah, like, happens. Yeah, in high school. I was just fortunate because I didn't ever go to. I went to three schools, <laughs> yes. like Forest, <coughs> and you know. When I was in elementary, like, I stayed in the same group pretty much the whole time, and then went to junior high, and the ones that went to South Davis, we all stayed in the same group pretty much, yeah. and then high school, like, people you're friends with in junior high, like... I think in ninth grade, I only hung out with you and Austin, or I didn't really hang out after school at all, but like, yeah. in school, I was only friends with you and Austin. I felt like it's, it was kind of like a blessing that I moved quite as much as I did. Yeah. It so made me, like, be able to, like, make friends pretty quick. But also, like, just, like, a few fresh starts are pretty, like, pretty fucking good when you're, like, dealing with all that shit that we dealt with growing up. Yeah. Because there'd be times where I was just, like, a fucking asshole. And then you'd, like, be able to, like, get a fresh start with people and stuff. Sheldon and says, did you ever get bullied in Woods Cross? I didn't get bullied. I got, like, harassed by people I was friends with in 10th grade. And then after that, no one fucked with me. Uh, just typical stuff. Yeah. Nothing, like, over the top. No. Nah. I was just cool with everyone. Like, no one really had problems with me in high school. There was, like, uh, when I first went there and stuff, like, just some of, like, the more popular kids were kind of just, like, assholes. But, like, that was just, yeah, it was just that was just then. Like, I didn't think it was, like, bullying because it wasn't like they were, like, targeting me or anything. They were just kind of fucking dicks. I just... All together. The only thing that I was ever pissed about was what happened in junior high made me weird to a group of people. Like, people thought I was weird. Oh. Yeah. Or, like, creepy. And I was like, just fucking thought a girl was cute, my guys. Like, <coughs> yeah. Fucking shoot me. <laughs> like, I was just kind of unknown until, like, end of 11th grade, senior year. I was pretty much unknown until, like, almost 12th grade. You do. Well, I, like, I saw for Austin Huntsman. <laughs> Good old Huntsman. Yeah. I haven't seen good song. We should get him on here. I've tried. I told Forrest I was going to 
sneakily get him on here. With I will. YouTube. I don't know if I have him on Instagram, but I tried messaging him, but he didn't message back. So I'll try and hit him up again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to read that. He said, "I think the closest I had was a few jocks on the football team, and I had my run with Sam H." I didn't like that. He, he was kind of a either. dick, yeah. I never had problems with him, but like I never had problems with him, but I could see that he was a fucking asshole sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, no, I think he's got a real hot wife. <laughs> I thought they were they kind of divorced. Just cool. Time to make my moves then. I don't know. Probably because he's a douche. Yeah. XL Diamond, I saw that you commented something a while ago. Yes, you can tell the guy in the beanie something. Yeah. I didn't quite. Sorry, it took so long to reply. What? He said, can I tell the guy in the beanie something? Yeah, We didn't see what you said if you said anything after that. But you can say it. Excellent. Our chat reset because we had to change screens. My bad. Oh, no, no. <laughs> bad. Just want to <laughs> see this. Yeah, I mean, for me, overall, it was all... I had good school. Like, overall, I felt like I had too much fun. Yeah. There's a lot of people that I, I wish I was still in contact with. Yeah. But I think that's just how it goes. Man, I wonder. There's always people I uh, rip too late now. Oh. No, sorry, XL. I wish. Uh, I don't know. There's people I forget that existed. He jumped me because I drew a dick in his yearbook. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. You <laughs> <laughs> drew a dick in his yearbook. <laughs> why is that joke? Why would he be? Yeah, why would he be so mad about that? I kept my fucking. Yearbook, fresh and clean. Yeah, I, don't, I think we grabbed ours and fucking ran. I wouldn't let him. I was like, nope. Yeah. Like, can I sign your yearbook? I said, no. Nah, I paid a lot of money for this fucking thing. You're not gonna <laughs> about to graffiti it. <laughs> yeah, I had no one sign mine either. I would not allow it. So I have two brand new fucking, two or three brand new yearbooks. <coughs> Do you think mine are still at your house? Or in storage. One of the two. Yeah. I probably look like such a fucking asshole. Man, I want to pull up. I want to get our yearbooks. Hey, what's up, McBooty Sauce? Hey, what up, my guy? Um, uh, let's just say, let's see. Y'all have heard of the Cindy James case up from Canada? I just got done listening to it, and it's wild. No, I haven't. No, I've never heard of anything about that yet. Must be pretty new. Yeah. A huge dick, that's so funny, Sheldon. We kind of had it coming, right, Sheldon? I'm trying to think. What do you guys' funnest? What do you think that was going to happen when you let Sheldon just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like an asshole to him all the time. He's like, hey, man, yeah, here, Bryce will know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of the... What were you going to say that? Yeah, what question? Just the funnest experiences in high school. Because um, I have a lot. It's tough. Most of mine were being fucking drunk or... Allegedly under, allegedly drunk in high school. Those, allegedly those under the influence. Those times when we like drank a little bit or did other things and then like try to work in certain areas at school. Those were super fun, but like the last little bit of high school was also so much fun because like teachers would let you get away with like anything, and you would like get in big groups of people and just go cause mayhem. And I don't know. That was also super fun. I think for me it was just. The weekends when everyone would come over to my house and we would just do, yeah, just hang out, play games, bullshit. That was so much fun. Yeah, I think the funniest. Remember that one time the fucking cops, uh, came knocking on my door, after I left your house. Oh yeah, because yeah. the footprints or some yeah. shit. But, like Sam left and I was like, eh, I kind of want to stay a little bit longer and stuff. So I walked home from Wesley's house and it was snowing and they like saw or like someone was breaking into cars up kind of by your house for us yeah and they uh Wasn't there me. was like two <laughs> sets of, yeah there was two sets of track and they both like went into like the neighborhood yeah and they just like ended up following mine and they like cops came to my fucking house and they're like uh my mom and stepdad like came to my door and stuff in my room and they're like what'd you do now and stuff and they're like come upstairs like cops want to talk to you and i was like the fuck i was like they're like, what were you wearing tonight? And then they like made me go get all the clothes I was wearing. I was like, the fuck are you guys here for? <laughs> My parents just like automatically assumed I like did whatever the fucking cops were there for. Yeah. And I was like, no, like I don't know what the fuck you guys want from me. Uh, See, it's weird because I definitely had like a lot of different experiences than you guys did. Because like a lot, a lot of portion of my time was spent with like 
Eric Kubik and like Ryan Opposian, and we would just play fucking basketball for like six hours a, a day. Yeah. Like doing shit like that. A lot of basketball at that house. Yeah. And I don't know, because it was just weird, like the rotation of people that I would hang out with. Like it'd be. Uh-huh. I don't remember who, like when it started, but like ninth grade, like I would hang out with Forrest and Austin Helmick, who he went to Viewmont after. And then I, I haven't talked to him. I've talked to him like three times since, which is crazy. Cause well, I remember that you, me, and Sam would hang out for a long period of time, probably like half a year. And then it was you, me, and Eric for a very fucking long time. And there's yeah. probably a long times where I wasn't a part of that mix yeah. either. And there's like weird rotations and yeah. stuff. <laughs> I just remember always fucking drinking those apple... Oh, liquor the, drinks. So yeah, me and Sam. Fucking, and we'd watch fucking just movies every weekend. The puckers, right? Yeah, the sour just, puckers. Oh, <laughs> it was just so much fucking fun. Damn. Have it's a good a night, Toasted. Time. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah, I, it was weird. Like me, Austin Helmick, and I were such good friends in like junior high. People thought we were gay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Force and I have seen a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah everyone probably still thinks we're gay. <laughs> we're. Uh, we may not be. <laughs> the pictures definitely contribute a bit. Yeah, that's that. fully heterosexual. Yeah, those pictures, everyone's like, you're gay, but dude, those pictures made me fucking popular. Yeah. You assholes. Those were hilarious. Yeah, because that's when I wasn't in school, so like when it started, so I would send them all themed pictures, <laughs> like, because I knew they were at school and shit, I'm like, hey guys, I'm going snowboarding, and it would just be me, my snowboarding boots, holding my snowboarding well, like coat. It, it, <laughs> like, before senior year, that's when it, like, really started when we were all in St. George. Yeah, but, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, and then I took that, the, <laughs> the first is when I, uh, took Brock's little, um, cowboy hat and then put the cowboy hat over my dick and I took the picture and then everyone else remade the picture but Brock was so fucking mad that night <laughs> yeah, he was <laughs> he was fucking furious so yes. fucking yeah I was fucking I don't know I had some fun times I wish I could remember more oh I know I kind of wish I wasn't such a square <laughs> cause that was one thing that I really regret now after like working hard in high school and then realizing it was pointless like I wish I would have done more more shit. shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I still had a lot of fun. I yeah. Just, huh. I had some jolly times when I stopped going to school. I always used to say shit that would get like rumors started about me in junior high though. I remember I like, because I used to play like softball with a bunch of girls in our neighborhood. Yeah. One of them being Tasia. <laughs> God damn it. But I said something like along the lines of jerking off into a tube sock <laughs> and like it was edgy for the times but I guess it was too edgy for like 7th grade kids yeah. so then a bunch of people were like asking me is the rumor true and I'm like what jerk off in tube sock you were too know. early man no, I, was too, I was too early to be cool <laughs> <laughs> just weird <laughs> yeah so, yeah you fucking right oh yeah I you were, the deal right there you were a little too early on the edginess yeah, you were right. late a couple of years so it would have been right in the perfect time of edginess right I was too hipster with my edge. Yeah. <laughs> I think I tried too hard it, uh, for a while there, though, in high school. Like, to be cool. Mm. I, was, you know. I feel like we just really didn't care that much. You ever heard about rumor about yourself, and you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah, oh. definitely. <laughs> so many. But the thing is, we just admit it. <laughs> yeah. I've heard rumors about these guys that I... <laughs> There's so wild. many fucking crazy rumors. Didn't, We're like, it sounds like something we do, but no, that it's right. a great fucking idea. Well, because it always start with, man, I can't believe you did that. I'm like, what? What did we do? And like with the poli- or the one for examples, the police station. Like, yeah, that's yeah. fucking crazy, man. <laughs> and then it's just always crazy stuff. And then everyone thought that me and Chandler were on hella drugs when we weren't on hella drugs and yeah. sold hella drugs. Yeah. yeah, that's the one that I always got questions like, do they really sell drugs? I'm like. No, <laughs> sell drugs. They just love. They do. They don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> they just like to drink a lot. And yeah. Legend. Yeah, they like to do other stuff. Like at the time, it was like two things. It was like. <laughs> what even brought me to hang out with you guys again after, like, because after high school I was working at Domino's and seeing that girl, and then moved to an apartment with her. I think what it was was. 
Because I remember the day we, I remember the first day I hung out with you guys again because we went and tried to surf that car over in West Bound. Oh yeah, that's when we stopped by. Yeah, we were just like, yeah, we were just in your neighborhood. And we're like, hey, what are you doing? I mean, I've seen you forever. I remember yeah. after her, and you uh, broke up and stuff. That's when we really started hanging out. Yeah, yeah. but that time, yeah, we were just like, we haven't seen Wes in a while. Let's just see mm-hmm. what he's up to. And then yeah. we came down and mm-hmm. we surfed that car, and then. After, I think just after that, we just started talking again a little yeah, bit. Yeah. And, then and then whenever, because, I mean, that was like a, almost like a year after high yeah. school. And then you were living over in Brock. Yeah. And then I just started going over there. and Yeah. Yeah, and then you started hanging out with James and them. And that's when yeah. I started having a girlfriend. And then, like, hey, hang out with James. I was like, dude, I haven't seen You remember when, like, any of those James... Things. And you guys will like come over, but like they didn't like Brock and stuff so much that like you and like James and Joey and like Steve would That's all. That's more like the what's cross si- house. No, it was uh, it was at Brock's house, and they would all hang out in the garage out back instead of like coming in. I don't remember. Because I remember there was like at least a few times where you guys would all like mostly thought, hang out no, in the I garage. I don't think they ever came over to Brock's. James no, and yeah. they did. They definitely yeah. did. Because oh. we were all there the night that what's her butt's uh, dad came for over. For sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and James was there. Was that fucking night. Night. I was going to say, never mind, because, yeah, yeah. Cause that's when I was thinking. But, like, when there was, like, a big group of people, when they like, Cody and Bryce and, like, all them would be over, and, like, James and Joey and you Did guys would all... Did they not like Brock? I, I don't remember, but I just... I remember them always, like, staying out towards the garage and stuff. I think it was more it that they like didn't know anyone. Yeah. Yeah. It, it could have just been that, yeah. Because I don't remember... I don't recall them not liking anybody. Yeah. yeah. I think it like after a while they kind of yeah. became friends, but like at first, it always it was just it was it was completely <laughs> by chance like weird chance that I even started hanging out with James, and it was because him and Weston would come into Domino's right, mm-hmm. and James would order the Brooklyn style pizza, yeah. and he would he said that like I made the best pizza, and like we before that like. In junior high and high school, I had the type of, like, friendship with him where I was like, you see him in the hall, like, hey, what's up? And that was it. Yeah. And there was never, like, full-blown conversations or anything. But he would come in, and then him, Weston, and I would just sit there and bullshit until their food was done, and then they would leave. Yeah. And they would come in, like, once every, like, two, three weeks. And then he came in um, one day by himself, and he just ordered a pizza, and he was like, yeah... Trying to look for a job. I'm like, do you want to work here? And he's like, oh, sure. Like, when can I start? I'm like, I don't know. Did he start there before me? Ooh, I don't know. Because I remember the first time I met him was right outside Domino's, but I think I was stopping by, and he, him and Weston were stopping by, but I don't Did ever we, remember. Because we all worked together at one point. Yeah, yeah. definitely. We worked that one, and then transfer over to the new one we all work together for a while right and stuff but i just remember you like introducing us for the first time i was like dang it that guy's cool as fuck yeah he was just so nice and like welcoming yeah, yeah i was never really crazy. like yeah like you said we were always acquaintances yeah exactly that's the best way to put it and he didn't and he hated sam <laughs> really <laughs> oh yeah uh why is there um, remember that? yeah i i'll tell you guys after yeah that's fine i don't know what all I don't know all of it accurately enough to say it, and it's not. Is it just like girl drama or something? Yeah. Okay. But um. Yeah, that was the that was the only reason why I even started talking to him again. And then when he started, we, you know, you know how it goes. You meet someone and you're like, oh, yeah, we have a lot in common, and you just start hanging out. And then he's like, yeah, I'm still hanging out with Joey and Steve. And I'm like, oh no shit, like the same thing with like Joey and Steve, like always acquaintances, went to school with them for a long time, always nice to each other, and then. I remember we hung out with James like a few times and then out of nowhere it's just like that's where we're hanging out all yeah. the fucking time like yeah it was a good it was so a good you know, spot you're for like, us to have yeah, just good friends I just remember those yeah. ones that are just like instantaneously like you hang out a few times and you're just like yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah this makes mm-hmm. sense but these are people I can kick it with forever yeah for sure Sheldon said that um, I remember one time well, I got pulled up again quick that Shelby pulled down my pants in a stomp and my dick was just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that happened to Kiefer one time too and his face got real red and he was just punching someone, whoever pulled his pants. Remember when we told yeah. Kiefer he had to be in those... those oh, yeah, was it Eric? Was it Kiefer? Yeah. What's and he got to worry about? Dude's hung like a fucking elephant. 
retarded. He was super nervous and like he couldn't do it or anything. And then mm. his girlfriend like had to fucking like help him. <laughs> it's she had, like watched guard. The or something. mischief showdown those was fucking fun. It all started. The whole reason the mischief yeah. showdown started was like, I can't remember. Like so, Brett and Jordan said they could. There was basically them bickering between each other. And they're like... Wait, who? Brett and Jordan. Oh, yeah, yeah, And they're like, dude, I'm fucking could do crazier stuff than you. And they're like, no. And then Brett was like, go pee in this cup. And I was like, yeah, all right. And then <laughs> it wasn't a good day for me. Like, it was like dark yellow pee, like unhealthy pee, and it smelled like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> and then Brett drank my fucking pee. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, and that's how it started. Brett drank my <laughs> pee. <laughs> That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I didn't hear about that ever. <laughs> and then after that was the mischief showdown. Everyone do fucking crazy stuff. Like, Brett peed, like, the <laughs> in the flower. You know, like Walmart, they have the floral section. Yeah. Brett in the middle of fucking Walmart. Everyone walking by just walked up pretending he's looking at flowers and was just peeing in the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I think the mischief showdowns when we first started hanging out. Probably. Because I remember we were all hanging out, like Eric, uh, Austin. Actually, and oh, was it all that? We and I remember we all fucking met up one night to, like, steal some yeah. fucking sign or something. I don't know. I was going to say, because everyone came over the one we were going to go. We had that giant plan to go to that guy's house and fuck with him and all oh, different ways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. But it's I, still I remember the first time that, like. Uh, oh, is it when we were still in the Aragorn? No, there was a night where there was like seven or eight cars and we were going around the hills just... L.A. traffic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> L.A. traffic was good. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> we would all follow each other, everyone listening, and like we'd have like as many cars as we can. It was in high school and we were just in the middle of the night just go in and like cold a sack and then everyone just honk their horns, hey, you fucking piece of <laughs> yeah, shit, go! Screaming. L.A. traffic. That was my first... Uh, my first ever, like, moment of doing shit like that with I remember guys. Sam was real mad at Cody that night, too, wasn't he? I don't was remember. Was anyone remember because Cody parked his, his truck, like, over Sam's car, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that completely. Because our friend Cody had a huge lifted, or, like, not huge, but, like, a big lifted truck, and our friend Sam had a little red Honda Civic, and so, like, our friend Cody, like, went in an angle and went around so that his whole truck was, like, over, like, he couldn't get in the car. And it was, like, over the top of it, and I think Sam was really fucking mad. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely makes sense. <laughs> and then, and then the one night when we were, I don't know if you guys were there, and we were doing sledding behind the Seth's Jeep. Up at Mueller Park. I was there the day that Seth, like, ran across, like, drove across, like... Yeah, when he ran from the cops. Yeah, I was yeah. there that day. Yeah, so we were sledding, so our friend Seth had this Jeep, and we had a sled tied to the back of it. Same Seth that's been on here. Yeah, and we have this school. Yeah. We had, there's this school with a giant grass field. There's a school with a giant grass field, and we had sled behind his Jeep. And then I was late that night. I think me and Joel were doing something because me and Joel came later than everyone else and I had a little truck and but yeah, and I had wheelchairs in the back we were fucking around and stuff but they were sledding I wasn't doing it because we got there late and then the cops came because obviously there's kids sledding by the yeah. fucking jeep on a field and then like tons of cops came and then our friend Seth fucking ran from the police he just drove because it's on a hill who we're on the hill but yeah we uh he drove away and ran from the cops and then they got him and there was a bunch of girls in his car and Joel Joel was with him, and, like, put him, no, was, I don't know, someone was with me, oh, it was probably Jordan was probably with me, but, and then, yeah, they cuffed him and stuff, and then our friend Brett that was on the sled luckily didn't fucking die, because when the cops came, he just jumped and laid down in the grass, and saw the cops are <laughs> speeding oh, by, he could have just got killed by a fucking cop, yeah. but then he ran, they all jumped in their cars and left, I remember Brock hopped in with Sam, because Sam was there, and they fucking left, it, was, it had him with Jordan, and then Go me and- figure those two leave. <laughs> yep, the first guys to leave always. But so, and then me and Jordan are throwing the wheelchairs in the car, and then all these cops start following us. Jesus. <clears throat> and then we're like, oh shit, the cops are going to get I us. I remember whose car I was in then. Because. Maybe it was Brett. Brett had his own car, and he hurried and hopped in. A bunch of people hopped in his. Maybe. I don't remember. But I remember the first time, like, our group of friends were, like, hanging out. And we were at, I think we went to Smith's or something, and fucking. 
Joel like told me to come like ride with them after we were doing a bunch of crazy shit, and I felt like that was like the first time I was like, oh, being like, taken by the cool kids. Like, <laughs> but I felt bad because I was like with you and like uh, Eric and like, yeah. Sam and stuff. <coughs> was that but one like one? Joel was like telling me to come ride with them and stuff after we were like doing a bunch of crazy shit. What's that right? about that? And it was like I was not losing or not doing anything that night. Yeah. Because, like, I felt like these school kids were, like, watching me and stuff. So I had to just go balls to the wall. (laughs) I, like, legit, like, anything they fucking said to do, like, I just fucking did. Is that the night we gave you the mesh uniform? Maybe. The football jersey with the mesh thing? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Because we had, that's what we had Riley and Riley's like, I'm going seven. I'm like, fuck you, Riley. And then. (laughs) Yeah. And then I was just wearing some fucking mess jersey all night. Yeah. Seven? <laughs> yeah. The fuck has to go with seven? That, the funniest, though, is the one night that Riley was telling um, Austin Huntsman, he's like, because he was talking, he's like, dude, I got a strict curfew of eight. And Austin's like, you have to go my eight, you pussy? And he's like, my parent, he was joking, like, yeah. just fucking with him super hard. He's like, yeah, I'm super strict. I gotta go home. I got rules. He's like, it's Saturday. You have to go. Or he's like, you have to go my eight on Saturday. He's like, yep. And then Austin was just giving him shit. But Riley was just, like, making up. with him. Yeah. What was the the scariest moment when you guys used to do your like crazy acts of Fuck all the time? Like, I think one of the worst was I almost fell out of Brett's car one time because Brett almost killed me at uh, least. Was ten- that when I reached back and or Brett reached back and grabbed your leg? Yeah, yeah. So I was. He was leaning out the back window. I was peeing and stuff. out the window while Brett's driving, and then Brett goes, Work. So then I like go, and like, so like he swerves. He's like, Phew. And so I like, I'm falling out the window. My hand touched the ground while driving, and Brett driving grabbed my leg, or I would have just went right out the car. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he just reached back and grabbed him so perfectly in time. What? No, I think we're on Main Street. Yeah, it was Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> so he was going like 30 or so. It's not fast, but. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely would have like just land on your fucking head. Yeah, I touched the ground. I was like, oh god. He's when I go back in the car. That's scarier than like the train jumping or the, like climbing those big fucking. Yeah. 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 I think the scary, scary right, most Jordan scared I've ever been is climbing the cranes with force. <laughs> Never been scared for myself because I'm like, I'm not an idiot. There's a ladder behind, like on me. I'm like, I'm just gonna hold on here. Before it's like doing monkey bars on like the crane, fucking like doing all this stupid shit, like just fucking gives you almost like heart attack every time. Cause like, <laughs> I don't want to explain that shit to his fucking parents. Like, I don't want to climb down like fucking 70 feet to go like collect Forrest's <laughs> fucking body. Right. And stuff like, those are the only times I've ever really been scared. Every, all the other times, like, just fun. Yeah. I have a video the one night when I was texting Wes while I was drunk. I was clean, crane climbing myself. Chandler didn't want to come. That was so mad. Yeah, because that's stupid. Dude, it was a good time. I'm not fucking 19 it, anymore. It I'm not going to go climb some fucking crane with it you. It brought me back. You I need felt to alive. fucking grow up, boy. I was so mad. He that he text- did that? Yeah, he was texting me, and I was just like... I was fucking mad fuck he was doing, doing it, it, too. It's like, was, shit. What uh, are you fucking we, doing, you big dumb idiot? We don't think we, you can't do it. We just don't want you to get fucking hurt. Brought yeah. me back. I was so joking. We're fucking... I saw a bunch of videos. Like and what are you trying? To, <laughs> what are you trying to prove here? Nothing. That's what Wes thought too. I'm not trying to prove shit. Is he be alive? It brought me back, dude. I feel good. <coughs> I want to be alive to someone else. I got like a bunch yeah, of. Go jerk off in public. I'll make you feel alive. Maybe. But yeah, dude. <laughs> I have videos. They fucking dummies left a crane open. Like so, for people that don't know how cranes work, so you climb like, all these ladders, boom, 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 and then there's the control bot, like the cockpit, as I'll call it, and. They usually have a padlock underneath, like, so you have to lift the floor up and and get in. But usually they padlock it underneath so you can't get in. But they didn't fucking padlock this one. I could have just been wrecking ball and shit if I wanted to. (laughs) But then I just went out and I walked on the crane, got some good vids. Hey, have you ever asked Shelton about our favorite math story with him? I don't know. About six? I'm not sure. What did you say? I remember when Sheldon stumbled his... Jesus. Sheldon Sheldon stapled stapled his arms, yeah. Tongue twister. Which one of you was it that kept saying I should get with one of the popular girls? I think the name was Itze. I have no idea. Could have been either one of us. It wasn't me. I don't think it was me. I don't think it was me either, but to be fair, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I don't don't know. Did you? Should have.
Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. It's just, it's weird how like all the friend groups changed. Imagine and if then, all of us went back to high school right now, like sophomore year. This memory, every everyone. Be weird. But like we had to do it. It just our our class. What do you think would be different? Our friend groups for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, because like, we're not gonna go back and like hang out or like with the certain people, but like we'd be friends with like Matt, Garrett, all of them for sure. Yeah. And we didn't really hang out with them a ton. No. That'd be weird. And, well, Mitch is like you're younger, so I, I don't know if we we're saying everyone, everyone. Hello. Howdy. I think some yeah. of the funnest times though were at Joel's dorms. Oh yeah. It's fun too because we all had girlfriends. So we didn't have to worry about like impressing women. Oh, yeah. We then they'd be like, we're playing beer pong, and they'd be like, "Grab my tits for good luck," and I'm like, "Yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> and then I went through like four girlfriends in the time Chandler and Joel went through one, <laughs> and then I ran out of women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shark bait. That was the worst. Mm. Nice tits though. <laughs> okay, tits. <laughs> I don't know if I know who that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking fun times. I think she got braces. Yeah, she got good teeth now. Mm, well, I haven't seen it. Me neither. But I figure. Shark bait. Ooh, Kobe. Because when I started hanging out with the guys, were, the only girls that were showing around were like Kirsten and her friends. Yeah. And that was kind of it. I was like, well. Oh. Yeah, because. None of them wanted that. Was, yeah, pretty much it. Yeah. But I had talked to or done stuff with all of them. So. <laughs> Aren't you cool? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm cool. I'm yeah, just saying I've dated Kaylee Cassidy. <laughs> uh, didn't you have a little thing with Kirsten? Kind of. Not a mm. little bit. I said that. And then fucking Brianna. <laughs> yep, all that time while they all kept their one girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Boy's got a point. I don't know. I don't know what point he's trying to make, but I feel it. Yeah. But you didn't really get anywhere. With I didn't. Yeah, that was the fucking worst to get laid to like girlfriend three. Oh, that's <laughs> right. yeah. You don't got a point to make. Yeah, the first two lasted like, like just a couple of days and then a couple of weeks and then upgraded. Who was it that left that note on your car that one time? I don't remember. Oh, they oh. asked man, you guys bring the glory. Oh, yeah. 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 I remember it because it was a nice coupon. It was for a haircut. Yeah. And she left a note that said, You're cute on my car. But it was written on a. Like, I think that was Cassidy. Might have been. But it was written on like a coupon for like a haircut. And I was like, Win win! Nice. <laughs> Got a cheap haircut. Now everyone's like, Fuck you, you piece of shit. I don't think anyone's saying that. Yeah. Well, they don't say it, but they think it. I don't think anyone's thinking that. Yeah. I don't get naked at parties anymore, so they don't really have a reason to. Can I have some of that before you put it in your pocket? Oh, you're so quick hands. You put those in the same pocket? Oh, can I have some of that? Like a lunatic? <laughs> I thought you slid one in and took out the other. Like no, I put one in my lap and a fucking library book. Damn, what if Ben Shapiro and Alex Jones are just the same person? Does he wear a suit? Sheldon said I was. I don't agree all this with all the shit Ben Shapiro that. says. But I like the way he fucking thinks. He's a master debater. Yeah. His debate, he's like unparalleled. I don't agree with all the shit he says, but like he's very the good way he fucking conducts himself. Gotta have like some respect. Yeah. He's definitely very good on his feet. He yeah. Can, he gets it. I have no idea. Couldn't tell you, man. I wasn't really friends with those girls. Never Which was girls? the popular ones. Uh, it was after I left. Remember you guys hung out with after yeah. I left? <laughs> I remember. Uh, all the times we'd work in a tenant's office, all the super popular girls that everyone knew would come in to like uh, get checked in and stuff. And we'd always be like, 
What's your name? It's Emily. <laughs> you fucking know my name. Yeah, and they'll be like, can you spell that for us? Yeah, just be a dick. Yeah. You think you're cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not I remember when we started hanging out with them, and they're like, you guys were such assholes. Every time we come check in, you guys had asked our names and stuff. Because they, like, knew who we were yeah. and stuff. But they we were back, Forrest, <laughs> you know who I am. Like, how do you spell your last name? <laughs> <laughs> And then when they got mad at us about it, I remember having to check them in after that. I would still do it. Just to <laughs> fuck with them. Yep, I left. I For some reason, hotel that rooms. last, like, half the senior year, like, we had, it. we had some real shots with those fucking... Not me, I wasn't there. Yeah. You weren't, but, like, the rest of us, we had some real shots with the most popular women. Yeah, no one ever got... No, I don't, at least I don't have to owe anyone 50 bucks. What was that bet? That... Who was it? I think that was... It was for, I think, Brianna and Emily, but I bet each of you 50 bucks you can never get with them. It was two yeah. of them. Or, I don't yeah. know, it was two of them. Yeah. And then, Definitely. <laughs> and then I was like, 50 Thank bucks, you. it never happens. And then, like, just you wait. Still don't owe you 50 bucks. Like, maybe I will eventually, but I keep my word. For some reason, it was like, after, those 50 high bucks. after high school that we all got our confidence, I feel like. True. Sure. True. Sure. Because... One key. It's <laughs> yeah. like during high school, like women I had sex with was kind of low. After high school, it fucking jumped. Me too. I went from zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, fourteen, it was one, and then I had sex with one girl in high school. Back in a beetle bug, right? Yeah. So from fourteen to eighteen, it was two, and then from like. 18 to like 22 it jumped like by like 10 or even more I, just remember I know your number's probably fucking uh, who knows? way more than mine though who I remember, knows I remember uh, one time uh, uh, we'll have to talk about it <laughs> I remember one I don't want a record of anything <laughs> it's none I'm a virgin <laughs> me too but I remember one time Joel was I can count with fours with one hand <laughs> <laughs> what'd you just say to me <laughs> <laughs> nothing so you can count me as one or no. count me with one. Yeah. You. F- I can count yours with one hand. No, you can't. You were around for one more than... One and a half? What? Are you six? That you can count, yeah. So the one no, probably higher than that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the ones you've never told us about because you regret them. I'm not telling That was your chunky stage. Yeah, but I'm not telling a lot about a lot of them. Like, I just try to keep my secret secret. If we have a rule, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, remember? We'd be like, you, wait, you did stuff with her? And they're like, yeah, you didn't ask. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, so then... All right, that's the way we're going. I, that's I like this much more. I'm not going to fucking tell shit. Everyone always knows my business, though. Yeah, because you tell it. No, I don't. <laughs> you guys are always just there. I keep my shit secret, and some are regrettable, and it's secret to me too. <laughs> right? It's Walk. in the back. It's in the back vault. Yeah, those are blocked out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> some of those. But we yeah. all go through a horror stage. It happens. Yeah. I'm gonna do it again. For the good days. Sometimes you. Sometimes you just got a nut and some butts. Sometimes I have a hard time controlling my sexual urges and I have sex with girls that I shouldn't have sex with because they're not that attractive and then hmm. it's like, oh god, what do I do now? My problem is they invite me and yeah. I'm already drinking. Yeah, it's fucking easy. <laughs> I used to just like, back when we'd have parties at my, at my apartment, all I'd have to do was just walk into my room. And then I'd just like, fucking come. And then just, I'm like, just laying there. They'd just walk I'm in just, like, and then they would lock the door and shut and then... All I had to do is just like just walk into my bedroom and I got sex with girls. Yep. I'm like, so like when I'm drunk and I'm like, damn, she's not wearing no bra, she's like showing those off. <laughs> it's like all you yeah. gotta do is just like walk this way. And then it's like, <laughs> I have a hard time resisting that. You turn on that song, the "Walk This Way" song, <laughs> and just like point to your room. Walk this way. <laughs> damn. Yeah, I don't know. My fun times aren't even boning chicks. My fun times are just doing crazy stuff. So, yeah. yeah. For sure. Boning chicks is kind of overrated. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Dude, do what's really upsetting me lately on Twitter? Because, like, 
I don't know. I, th- I feel like it's weird. I don't want to make noises when I fuck, you know? I'm not like... Oh, the, everyone's giving shit to silent yeah. guys? Yeah, some girls are talking about, I'll ghost a man if he does that to me, in which makes sense for me, apparently, because I'm a quiet man. I'm just like... That's best case scenario. Eh. True, kind of. You kinda. should be silent, and she goes <laughs> afterwards, and I'm like, fucking thank you. Maybe they just think it wasn't that good. Yeah, no. I'm gonna fuck what they think. They leave me alone afterwards. But apparently, you just... It's fucking real. That's a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. I I thought it's weird if I'm like... All I have is Instagram. I don't know any of the fucking new things. Yeah, it's fucking weird things are going on in the world. I always learn from you guys. Yeah, apparently that's a thing, and I don't get it. What am I supposed I can't to wait do? Next time, I'm like, oh yeah. What am I supposed <laughs> to? Say? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the spot. Right what am I there. supposed to say? Swing, Bobby. I'm gonna net. Propane and propane accessories. I'm gonna whisper sweet. Well, to be honest, like you only have to think of like two phrases, because like I'm done like two phrases. Oh, that feels good. Ah, oh, that was nice. Beaver <laughs> says girls like when guys make noise. Lets us know we're enjoying. Lets you know you were enjoying yourself. Yeah, I don't know what noises I'm supposed to make. Like, I say, I say <laughs> keep up the good work, <laughs> champ. <laughs> You're doing real good. <laughs> Sometimes, though, Well, Bieber, they're either doing a good job or I'm taking control of the situation. Yeah, you're right for sure, Beebert. Sometimes, Beebert, though, you can't be loud because of circumstances. Yeah, but, like, well, my circumstances are, are every time, like... Don't wake up my grandma. <laughs> right. I got some... <laughs> No, they can't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake up. Man. Or if they could hear shit, they would hear it every day. <laughs> Whatever the porno intro is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're just down there. Again? At it again. The funniest is just when, like, for a long time, like, a couple years ago, when I first moved in, everyone would always sleep over in my room. And, like, so my grandparents, like, four in the afternoon, all these people come walking out of my room. <laughs> Maybe I hope they think that you're just doing orgies up in your he- bedroom. Most of the times it was James and Thomas or Chandler, so question uh, still applies. I remember the one night. Uh, your grandparents just like kind of knew I kind of lived there, though. Yeah, they, well, but like yeah, other people. I just remember when they knew James and Thomas too. But like, I remember the one night. It was when I first bought Wolfenstein. I hadn't played it yet, and Thomas and James just stayed up all night playing Wolfenstein. And I just went to bed, and then I woke up, and they were still up playing Wolfenstein. That's pretty great. So then I played Wolfenstein with them. And there was the one night with Thomas where you got... The garbage pit. The The funniest is, like, that was a... I literally had just clothes everywhere in my room, like, like so much clothes. And I had a giant garbage bag full of trash, because I kept in, like... I don't know, I was a scum. I was real degenerate. And so there was garbage around. And then... Thomas and me and yeah and then Patreon happened yeah I think he got it huh? <laughs> he's keeping secrets around here talking about that one girl <laughs> did you get the clap no huh? oh. he says that I didn't do stuff with her yeah you fucking liar yeah. pretty sure he yeah. did yeah. <laughs> she took a shot. shower and I was like I'm not taking a shower right now <laughs> so so says, she definitely got butt ass naked in my room and I was like, oh, okay. She's like, come take a shower. And then I was like, yeah, no, you can take a shower. Then I kind of just waited there for a while. She mm. took a shower and then she got up and then she broke my fucking one thing. She tried to sit on it and I was like, yeah, that's not a seat, bitch. Yeah, it was a shelf. It, yeah, a shelf thing. with full of like DVDs and stuff. She sat on it and just like, <laughs> fucking broke. So Go Eagle says, like Digital Underground says, put a cloth under the door so your friends can't clone you? Clown on you. Oh, clown you, okay. Sheldon says, I once heard we should sound like we were trying to walk across a thin sheet of ice. That's how we do now. Close. I know all too well about walking around thin ice. I'm just going to go. Fucking. That goddamn lake we went to that one time. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You fell into the goddamn (laughs) mud. Goddamn mud pit. Those are the worst. Those are brand new shoes. Yeah. I'll say one thing, though. Like, if you're planning on, like, hooking up with girls and stuff, don't. Don't bring Forrest. He's the worst person to have around. Trickle down. I think it's the opposite. You've told me I'm a great wingman. And then sometimes... Sometimes, (laughs) but, like, sometimes you just fucking... 
<laughs> Not once, name one time. One time I was trying to smash it and you broke my brother's door down to get in on it. You fucking promised! You I said, was lying just so you <coughs> would shut up. He's challenged like, you asked oh, me a oh, thousand I'm... times. Like, hey, dude, we're gonna have no. a threesome. You're gonna, we're gonna have a threesome, and then no. I'm like, Bef okay, and then I no, that's, that's not all. What happened. Before you guys continue the story, I've heard it a thousand times. So He's I a know. light son of a bitch. I always. Who's <laughs> lying here? I don't know. I wasn't there. No, he said, because John was like, no, I don't really like her. And then I said, he's like, the only way she's coming over is That doesn't over mean I want to fucking share. Yeah, he's like, the only way she's coming I'm over greedy. is if we have a threesome. And I was like, dope. We're having a threesome. <laughs> dope. I don't think so. Yeah, it's exactly what you said, you son of a bitch. So. And then, you can't, you fucking selfish. Did your mom ever tell you to share? You don't share? Think. Hold on, hold on. Think what would have happened. I'm going to pretend I'm Chandler. You guys could have been done, and Chandler could have looked at you and been like, Pound it, brother! <laughs> no, I don't want any of that. He could have. He could have! It could have been shared. Like... We could have DP'd, put our dicks together. <laughs> I'm, if I'm fucking like going in and everything, I'm getting everything I want right now. Like, and then Force comes in, like. Well, yeah, no, I, mean, I don't want, like, what do you want from me? If you finish first, like, he can still just knock it out. Yeah, <laughs> he can fucking wait his turn. Like, you, you fucking step outside, no. let me go, and then you can go. So we are fucking friends. <laughs> I was already there. <laughs> Finders keepers. Finders I started first. Keepers. That's not a fucking rule. Well, who's uh, the first one actually in? What? This guy. Yeah, this guy. I had it first. Yeah. And then I kind of ignored her, so she went to you as the obvious choice. <laughs> Trickle down. Trickle yeah. down. Yeah. And then I kind of wandered her again because I was like, hmm, me horny. And then, <laughs> and then she so came horny. back to me. And then you had her. And then I had sex with her. And then you had her. <laughs> it works. Yeah, you could have been together. We could have been friends together the whole time. She could have been like, hey, boys, come meet me. And we're like, here we go. <laughs> and then I kissed Chandler on his neck a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but as first one in, like I get to call, I get to make the call. You don't make dibs. I she said not dibs. an object. You're supposed to. She said she was down, which was fucked up. She was down, but Chandler's not. Some friend. Who was the are. girl? Well, let's not she's got some here. weight on her now. Does she? Oh yeah, <laughs> I saw a video of her riding a bull today on Facebook. Whoa. And like not a real bull. And Remember when we rode? It was a bull? like. It was like. Force and I <laughs> rode a real bull. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Iron Chef just says you. <laughs> Is your name Bruce? No, no one's named Bruce here. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Bruce Jenner? <laughs> <laughs> Bieber says if you want a good wingman, bring a girl to help. They never we can help. go talk to the group of girls, no problem. Well, I don't know any girls that would help me in that. Why is her name Bruce, or why can I be Bruce? I don't know what you're asking me here. Do you like Bruce's? Oh. I'll, yeah, I'll be Bruce if, you, if you're if you looking for a Bruce. Yeah. Got nothing to drink. You dr oh, you drank that? You did. Huh? You can go get more beer. It's still 11. Oh, it is only 11.30. Peace. I was going to say, I'll pull it right down there. if you guys want to go. I'll stay. I just want to... He doesn't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a second bitch. job, yes. <laughs> I'll buy a beer. Be Bertha instead? <laughs> Bertha? I'll be Bertha. You guys don't know any good girls then? I mean, I've had... Yeah, you're right. Usually it's girls pretending to be my wingman, but secretly... And I didn't know till later that they were into me, which would have been way cool to know in the first place. And then they're like, trying to be cool <coughs> to impress me or something. And like, hey, all wing man, I'll help you get laid. And then I get laid, and then they stop talking to me. Because they actually wanted to sleep yeah, with you. Yeah, fucking assholes, man. Typical. Yeah, all you have to do is say, hey, I'll fuck you. <laughs> all right. And I would have said, yeah, yeah. That's advice from Forrest. If you want to fuck a guy, just say, hey, I'm kind of in the mood to fuck you right you now. You have to say that, even if you're just into him. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. Yeah, girls can be dumb sometimes. Nah, some maybe. So then I can never get my mind around a threesome if it's two dudes. Most open-minded I am is threesome with two girls. Cause you're gay. 
<laughs> just kidding, chill. You've told a girl that? Yeah, that's fucking good thing to do. Tell them. If you're into them, don't pretend to be their friend. It's fucking dumb. And just tell them, like, hey, I'm hurting for a squirt. Listen, how see about this you? can? Do you want any butt? No, don't say that, but yeah. Goggles, I thought you were going to start hooking up with that Target girl. What's going on, man? Tinder, man. It's real easy. Tinder's fucking lame, dude. It's kind of real bad over the years. I remember the good old days of Tinder yeah. when you could... Unlimited yeses. See, Iron Chef gets... I just told her, I'd fuck you, and she was like, okay. Exactly. That's all you got to do, man. Just be open. You got to realize, like... Especially in... that. I mean, I guess it's probably always been around, but... Nowadays, like... Everyone's just trying to fuck. Yeah. They just don't want to go about it a weird way. They think they need to go about it the long way. Dude, just everyone, be straightforward. But hey, it's 2019. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 2019 though. Uh, you know, everyone's fucking down. Sex isn't so fucking weird these days. You fucked four times that nine? Damn. Hell yeah. Sheldon, Tinder girls are toxic. Yeah, I mean, some of them. My Usually. fucking cousin met his wife on Tinder. So. It's always the ones that say not looking for hookups. They usually want hookups. Lying bitches. <laughs> That's smart, though. I feel. Because then you're like, people, then you weed out the the, the bad. You know, if you say you're not looking to fuck, then you get rid of those, the scummy dudes. Yeah. Understandable. I'm going to put that as, I don't have a Tinder right now. But I'm going to make one and put not looking for hookups. I think that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's some reverse psychology shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying anything, but do it, cause uh, I'm gonna try. Yeah. Tinder is toxic. All the guys. Yeah. What the fuck? I was on Tinder. I'm not a fuck boy. Probably now they're mostly fuck boys. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what the. F <laughs> Damn. Guys do the same thing. Yeah. I met a girl online once with someone who managed to hide the fact that she was in a wheelchair. Oh, no. In all of her pics? Damn, that would have been, been an interesting conversation when you show up. I've had kind of similar. I've had girls that are 400 pounds, and they look real good on their face. Yeah. And I think that's like, happened to everybody. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, you cute. And then I'm like... Cause see, I'm the little spoof. See, during the days of when I did Tinder or those types of websites, I'd always put the same line: "I'm the fat, funny guy." Hmm. Cause I don't want them to be missed. I don't. Cause like I got some selfies that look okay, I guess. Beauty comes in all sizes, Forrest. <laughs> you right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, yo! Thanks for the sub. Hey, thank you. You right. Oh, but I don't know, man. Iron Chef. So I felt bad when I showed up to the restaurant. Do you want a little dance for the sub? That was a little quick. Bit, do you like a little, little bit of that? You need to learn to perfectly crip walk. <laughs> oh, I know. I want to. You just come stunned in the office. Hey! Chandler's too good at fucking that ice game in the Olympics. Oh, you unplugged it. <clears throat> yeah, he's real good at the fucking ice fucking fleeing shit. Yeah. Um, what is it called? Curling? Yeah. Just, 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 just fucking brushes and shit. You're too good of a curler. Yeah. Too good. That's it. Should have done it on camera. That's me every time I come back from a pee. But yeah, thank you for the sub, Crystal. Whoever followed, thank you. And thank you for the follow. I can't see it yet, but I fucking love you. She produces... Wait, oh, she fucking proceeds to run a $75 tag between food and booze. That was close. It is pants. That is indeed pants. You, you fucked that one up. You were real bad. You're full. Yeah, thank you for the follow. I didn't miss one shot. Is that drift? You don't get it. Sure. Fair enough. Yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, much love, guy. What do you mean? You're gonna drink 18 fucking beers? That's pretty fucked up, Iron Chef. I would have been, uh, 
Pretty alright. Some girl ran up some money on his tab between food and booze. That's fucked. <coughs> I do like now nowadays it's pretty uh everyone's pretty on board with the just split bills fifty fifty. Cause there was that time period like two, three years ago where girls were just going on dates with guys to get free food. Not anymore. Pretty smart. Yeah, I would I would have definitely done that. Mm-hmm. Ain't no one taking my fat ass to go get food though for free. You know, order the whole goddamn menu. Oh, yeah. I can use that charger. Yeah. Is there a way you're gonna plug it in? Oh, there. there you go. Put it on the the end, very end one. Okay. I've had a guy's card decline when he made it a huge point to pay. That's awkward as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that does suck. You really shouldn't vape. You vape, you fucking... I don't know. I don't know what it could... Oh, it sure. worked. I got some vape in the duck. A duck one? Oh, baby. Is that Snapchat? Nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean... Because I don't have Snapchat. Oh, I, I probably shouldn't is. vape, but I'm probably still going to. Oh, well, it's like, should uh, I vape or should I smoke cigarettes? We, uh... What are we doing tomorrow? Clubbing? We're going fucking bullin'. What? I don't know. What are we gonna do? Oh, that's a little box that's crushed. I thought I was gonna get a great footrest. There's a chair right there, dude. Yeah, don't use it though. <laughs> I don't know what to do tomorrow. It's funny. You might shoot a little, little smoke out the bottom. The only thing I know to do is go to the bar, but. We're no. doing the anime podcast at 2. Oh, you are? If everyone shows up. Who's doing that? Um, Mawel, Thomas, and uh, Kai Stegman. Thomas? Thomas. Thomas. Frost. Nice. Little Tom Tom. That's a... I can't, but I have no idea what any of you guys would be talking about the whole time. Yeah, that's kind of... I'll probably be asleep. Well, that's kind of why we're <laughs> doing it on Saturdays, because obviously Forrest isn't in anime at all, and... The three of them are super into it, so I think it would be fun to let them all discuss. Farming simulator? You got a point, because then I can make my farmers only. Farm well, and forest. Four times more nicotine. We should have, like, eight. That'd be way nice. To be fair, though, Drifter, the problem isn't nicotine, it's tobacco. Nicotine doesn't do shit to your body. Except for addiction. Besides addiction. My well, the one I fought? Yes, indeed. Shell shock. Uh, the yeah. same one way. Yeah, so if you guys like anime, 2 o'clock Western Standard, or Mountain Standard time tomorrow. Yeah, possibly. possibly. I only heard back, <laughs> the two things I heard back sounded like maybes. Uh-oh. Even I can't wait for, you got that text about one of birthday party, right? No. Same. You weren't in that? I don't think I was either. Damn. This is fucked up. Yeah, Mo was the shit. He says um, there are safety issues with the nicotine from e-cigarettes, which cause addiction and other adverse effects. Nicotine is regarded as a potentially lethal poison. Concerns exist that vaping can be harmful, exposing to toxic levels of nicotine. It little amounts in no, mild. Gonna, I'll just say effect. Yeah, but like it's true. I am. That's fucked up. Oh, sure, Maverick, and then a number I don't know, Cameron. Gino, Steve, Wesley, number I don't know. Gino Zach, got in, but I didn't. Zach and Manuel. No, I agree with you. There's, there's Who started it? Manuel said, hey, so next Saturday, I asked my mom to make tacos for my birthday weekend. I'm wondering who would be down to come. Not sure what time yet, but probably around 6. Need to know who would come uh, for sure so I know how much meat to buy. That son of a bitch. You're not in it. You are, though. I said I'm down. I didn't get it. Yeah, nicotine's more lethal than arsenic in high levels. Sure, but you know how much you have to actually intake? Not much, actually. 3%, I think. That's a lot. Yeah. Do you know anyone who's died of nicotine that we know that smokes a lot? Nope. I know people that got real sick, but not die. Yeah. 
It's real bad. I agree. Any anything you put in your body is bad. I drink. That's bad. Yeah. It's all bad. Breathing here, air here in Utah is probably real bad. Yeah. True. A lot of people that like say like, oh, smoking weed's good for you, but it's like still smoking. Yeah, yeah, like smoking anything's probably not good for you. Like THC could be beneficial, but like right. smoking it though, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's all bad. Hopefully I die sooner than later, though, so... <laughs> I try my best. That's all I can do. <laughs> uh, edibles become a different product in your liver, though. Thai and... I don't remember the actual chemicals, so... I can't, yeah, yeah, I I can't say. I used to know it. Tryptamine or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Diethamol tryptamine? Sun, yeah. <coughs> Actually, Sheldon, we were... I was going to try and do that when the weather started getting better. Um, Horse competitions? <laughs> I mean, that would be fun. No, uh, we were going to... Jordan, um, J-Drum, talked about wanting to do it last year. We just didn't get around to it because we were still kind of new to doing all this. Yeah. But hosting some sort of, like, 3 versus 3 basketball game where we go and we set up the stream to Twitch stream and uh, stream the whole thing and then like Forrest and I or whoever there would commentate it and all the people playing basketball would be like, you know, what you see on the stream and then have some sort of prize for whoever's team wins all of it or something like that. Basketball tournament? Yeah. It'd be cool as fuck. Yeah. And if we hosted it, made like a banner or something. Do like a 3v3? Yeah. Or a 4v4? Yeah, just something like, like that. that. Me and my brothers can join? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Because I think there'd be a lot of people who'd be down to do that. I'm just going to be a sports announcer. Yeah. Yeah, I, probably I don't want to jimmer up on anyone. You guys fucking yeah. announce and <laughs> broadcast it. What, like, what would you go to? Say that again? What would you go to? Like, are you oh, doing score? like time or like score? Or? Um, I don't know. 21? I think time would be better. Yeah, like a 15 minute 3 versus 3 game or something. Yeah. yeah, two ten minute or two eight and a half or something. Two, yeah, whatever. That'd be cool. We would still we would have to figure out paperwork though paperwork for people to sign off on. So, but yeah, I don't know how many people would be around here that would want to. I I think a lot. lot. Well, yeah, yeah, probably a lot. But I'm saying like, uh, if you did like a, uh, if you'd want to do like a four v team or like a three v team, right? Well, yeah, no, I mean this. There's nothing set in stone. Like, we're not, this isn't like, we're for sure going to do this, but it's something that I would like to try and set up, because. Mm. I want you guys to do another art contest, so I want to win that one. <laughs> yeah. I got an idea. I know it was a fucking pain in the sh fucking ass. It just, there was just so much drama. Yeah. I had to block that fucking kid today. <laughs> I still think it might be Alec, but he just messed me the same shit. I know where your studio's at. Me and my set's coming through tonight, and I'm like, okay, well, if you know where we're at, good luck. See you then. It's 1130s. Still waiting. <laughs> I would feel really bad if he showed up with three of his homies to actually cause a problem. You want to get iced? Cause yeah. I got, s yeah. got a secret weapon called bullets <laughs> next to me. Right. Got a gun next to me? <laughs> Allegedly. No, hypothetically. No. May or may not. You got a guitar? I just want to throw a beer Dude, can don't you destroy bed. the fender? Take the I'm cans. Gonna throw, I, I'm going to throw a can on this forehead. See that broomstick behind the TV? Yeah. Damn, I'm going to boast after their ass with that. You <laughs> shall not <laughs> boss. Oh my god, I saw the funniest uh, meme today. That was just out of left field. It was a... Uh, it looked like a picture from prison. Yeah. And it showed two naked, like, two, like, naked legs in a shower. And it said... The Dorb's Greed, um, and it was the bar of soap, it said the Greed of Golden Gems, yeah. and then it said the Dorb's as the front guy, who dropped the soap, and the back guy was Barlog, like the big monster oh, or whatever. God. Jesus. Here are a few common vegetables and plants, mostly from the... Salonsa Salon Something like that? Nightshade family. Okay, it's shown to have nicotine contact, tomatoes... Tomato, you choose what I say. An average tomato has nicotine concentration of 7.1 to 7.3 ng to g. Um, potatoes, an average potato has nicotine concentrations of 15. Eggplants, teas, peppers, 
Um, cap to com cap capsicums, cauliflower. I don't even know what a capsicum is. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Huh? That's wild, though, man. So I should start eating hella fucking veggies. What you're telling me? Get <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Would you see that uh, vegans can no longer eat avocados? Why? Because bees are the ones that pretty much make avocados possible. Mm. So. The they pines. have to like pretty much imprison bees in order to produce <laughs> avocados for these fields and stuff. So they're banning it's avocados. Like the bee <laughs> yeah, so they don't have to fucking like transport bees in there to like pollinate their fucking avocados. Capsicum, um, tropical American pepper. Oh, of the nightshade. I gotcha. Nice. Yeah. I don't know. Again, come in me, come out me. So I say to the drugs and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think there's a lot of shit we shouldn't do today for our health, but I'm still doing it. So I like. Uh, it is what it is. I like Dr. Drew's point that he's been making on his new podcast. It's Dr. Drew After Dark. If you guys haven't jumped on it, it's hilarious. Ten out of ten. Um, he believes that cell phone screens are going to be like how we used to look at cigarettes in 20 years. Hmm. The cell phone screens are going to be the most awful thing. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. You tell me cigarettes are bad? Have you seen the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> have you seen those fucking foldable screens? Yeah. That thing's crazy. The future's here, baby. Uh, Do you see Energizers? That uh, giant fucking phone? <laughs> yeah, their phone uh -huh. they're coming out. It's apparently it will hold battery for up to a week. They call it a battery pack, but it's it has a phone built th in. Th That's what they say. Who the fuck do you want that? <laughs> they like say this is in the 1990s. Like, we don't want a fucking thick-ass thing. It's a smartphone, though, that you could probably use for, like, camping and shit. Yeah, well, that's what they say. Like they call it a battery. Like phone? No. They say it's well, a like battery so pack it, it, with a built-in uh, Android system in it. So it's, like, explosive. With the that's what they say. Phone, in, like, camping-wise, there would be no point in buying it. Right. If it's better than a satellite phone when you're going outdoors, that's the only way I would ever fucking consider buying something like that. Then. I don't know. I kind of like the idea because my biggest pet peeve is how shitty my battery is. Yeah. yeah. So, Drift, you're, you're telling me I should put a drop of nicotine on my tongue? <laughs> he says, high concentration of nicotine gross. is deadly. In fact, one drop of nic pure nicotine on the tongue would kill someone. Pure nicotine, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm going to put that shit up all I over me. I remember I'm gonna squirt in my there people that got like 50% nicotine. Back in the early days. And yeah, you stuff. could buy like 50. Was yeah, they'd easy. get like super fucking sick and stuff. Yeah, I'd buy it all the time when E6 first came around. There was no regulations on E6 when they first came out. I'd buy it up and now you never hear it. It's like .03 and shit. That's what this is. Yeah. I don't need any more. I just do it to crave the hand to mouth habit and not smoke cigarettes. Hand to mouth, huh? Unless I have the extra. Battery pack for you? Bat what do you mean? Pack for your phone? Oh, for my phone? So it's not a dead boy? It's always a dead boy. What? My phone was at 90 when I got here. It's at 40 and I haven't used it. My phone's at 70. My phone's at 20%, now it's at 11%. My phone's at 75% and I didn't charge it yesterday. It's time to upgrade, boys. Future's here. I need to upgrade just for the memory because I don't have any more memory on my phone. I probably have the oldest phone of anyone you know. Probably. Maybe. No way. My grandparents saw flip phones. Okay, well that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put a drop of nicotine on your tongue. From my uh, phone. I think that's a good way to go out. Yeah, fucking batteries, man. Get new phones, but they fucking last a while. Forrest and I have talked about this, and I'm curious where you sit on it too, Chandler. Do you find yourself you smoke more just nicotine, e-cigs, cigarettes, whatever, win during wintertime? Because I definitely uh, do. During the summer and spring, I usually don't smoke at all. So when it's, it's wintertime, I just have that inkling to smoke. Well, I'm like 100% addicted. So it's pretty much <laughs> the same <laughs> gotcha. year-round where like, I want to smoke pretty much all the time. Because you two, I feel like, could probably quit. Yeah. I'd have no problem with it. Fairly easy. But my family has addiction problems. 
I always thought it came from my dad's side, but my mom says she also has a super addictive personality. Damn. And then there's been people on my dad's side that's died from drug overdoses and shit like that. So, yeah. Yes. I've always known that like addiction's pretty heavy in my family. And my uh, my dad's mom and dad's so my grandma and grandpa uh, died from like pancreatic cancer. Damn. Yeah. I'll probably die from something. <laughs> Some well, yeah, and they they smoked all the time and drank all the time and stuff. And then uh, this last Christmas, I went to my dad's uh, side of the family Christmas party and stuff. And all my uncles and stuff were all saying that they had like been clean for like ten years or like twenty years and stuff like that. So they were like talking about how they were pretty much all alcoholics and then they've been like clean for like decades now and stuff. I was like, dang, this alcohol's probably a fucking uh, problem in my family. Yeah, I just don't understand the fucking <laughs> I I don't know. I feel like not drinking a lot's good, but just not drinking at all for twenty years. Yeah. Not a beer every once in a while, maybe once a Sunday I a month. I can stop drinking so easily. Mm. I don't drink. Yeah. It's a whole lot of... I love beer, though. I just fucking love Well, that beer. was the weird thing that I thought, like, because it seemed like most of my uncles and stuff all fucking wanted to drink all this uh, time and stuff, but, like, I felt like any, like, me and Cameron and stuff, like, if, we, if there was a reason to stop drinking, we could easily stop drinking. <laughs> Smoke a weed, that would be the problem for me. Not me. <laughs> yeah. That's where you and I are opposite, but, like, Can I if I... Come on, I kill myself smoking, this nicotine. <laughs> I stopped smoking for like a week or two. I could probably stop smoking for like a year. Yeah, I go through phases where I just yeah. I'll smoke for like two, three months, and then I'll take like two, three months off. Yeah. If my just friends quit, I would quit. Yeah. Because <laughs> I only do it with you guys. <laughs> like it's not that I'm drinking though. Well, like give me some of that shit. Yeah. It looks so good. It looks all nice in my body when you guys do it. I'm like, I can really go for that. Sheldon was saying though, uh, you can't charge your phone and listen to music or listen to your or plug your headphones in the same time with iPhones. Yeah, but I don't even need. I've never had to charge my phone. If you charge your phone every night, don't need to. I don't charge my phone every night, but Caden like, has. He got the AirPods and stuff, and I was like, I really want some of those. But I was like, I can't think of a single time where I'm not just like playing shit out loud on my phone. I don't, I don't really use eat. headphones. I'll just, like, if I'm watching something or listening to something, I'll just blast it from my phone. I don't give a fuck. AirPods are for people that want to flex. Yeah. AirPods are dumb. I just don't like those. I don't... I use them now because that's all I have left is Apple headphones. I just don't like them. There's that. sometimes I, I like really want to just, like, blast fucking music, but it's, like, not the time of night to do that. I like that's the only reason I'd want, like, good headphones. Yeah. Gotta that's get on that's some, very fucking rare that I... Gotta get on some noise-canceling ones because those are game-changers. Yeah. Um, well, I need to talk to Taylor and just get my beats back. He was telling me about that too when he mm-hmm. was driving over. He was like, Yeah, I still got some of Chandler stuff. Should have brought it. But he didn't know you yeah. were going. Um, no, I didn't. I've never had noise can't like. Um, I borrowed some headphones and um, I've never had headphones that have an option to turn on noise canceling. Oh, and these ones do. And it's so weird. Like, there'll be nights where I'm just laying in my bed and I'm kind of getting tired. But, like, my house just has a lot of noise because, like, heater, cooler's going, like, stuff's just going. I turn that on and turn the noise canceling. It's a whole, it's weird. Mm. It's, like, completely quiet. You just hear that, like. It's like a little fuzz. It's like, yeah, it's like fuzz. Yeah. It's weird. I like it, though. And, like, when I'm listening to, like, whatever in my headphones and I turn the noise canceling on, I don't hear a single thing outside. I always just turn on my cooler just, like, without the fan because I have a window cooler. And I just turn on just the fan part of it. Mm. So it doesn't get cold, you know. I actually like it when it's cold, but... Caden always sleeps with the fan every night. I do now. I think it's mostly to block out the noise now. That's what my parents do. They use a fan only to block out noise. Mm. And what if you could get speakers that are noise-canceling? That would probably drive you insane, though. Just That'd be weird, right? I think that's a thing. <laughs> like, yeah, Google that I bet there is. Like, I think there's noise-canceling emitters. It's kind of peaceful, to be honest with you. I kind of like it. Noise. I like it. 
No? I would. Oh, you would? Yeah. yeah. I like it a lot. They might be my car if you want to, like... I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. Always canceling speakers. <laughs> oh, so people are asking about it. <laughs> they were thinking the same thing as us, apparently. Um, discussion is locked? Fuck. Okay, why is it locked? I just want to know about this shit. Okay, Amazon Cobra HD high gear external noise canceling speaker. So apparently there is from Amazon, twenty four bucks. <laughs> no, I get you. Like vaping's got problems too. <laughs> like I, I see anyone that's smoking anything that thinks that it's healthy. Yeah. Like if you're smoking something, like you know, that's not something that's good for you. No, definitely not. Whether it's fucking cigarettes, cigars, e-cigs, any, you smoking anything, it's not healthy. Yeah. I do much worse, I can promise you that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep. And I, I, like I said, I just use it as a, so I don't smoke cigarettes or other substances. Hmm. I just do it all. I don't just know. to put it all in my body. <laughs> Put everything here. What's it like to drink? Early 19th? I don't know. It's whack. It's good. I don't know. I like beer a lot. Drinking's good and bad. It's just like everything. It's person by person. You know, and I dislike drinking and I dislike beer. Forrest likes drinking and loves beer. He hates, well, not hates, but he doesn't enjoy smoking marijuana we enjoy smoking marijuana from time to time it's all it's just person by person don't if i'm being honest you don't do either yeah there's no point to getting into it it's not there neither of them are healthy habits to have they <laughs> don't buy into marijuana as the god drug because it's uh, it's, it's not you know what they say though a beer a day Keeps the bad times away. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, fucking I don't know. Like, the reason I don't like smoking is the marijuana. I don't have con. I don't know. Because with weed, you notice you're not in control, right? Like, so you're like, oh shit, I'm fucked up. But when I drink booze, I'm like, hey. I don't know, so I'm in control when I'm obviously not in control. Like, I can be smashed and I sound like, good. Right. That's why I like it. Because I don't know that I'm fucked up and I don't feel like I'm being weird. Like, if I get high, I'm like, am I saying things weird? And when I'm boozed up, I'm like, I'm probably saying things weird, but I don't give a fuck. Like, if that, sometimes when I smoke, I get like, think about like what, how I'm behaving a little bit yeah, too much. Definitely. Yeah. How I get paranoid. Yeah. yeah. That's my thing. I really get paranoid, though. See, for me, if I'm going to smoke, I'm going to do it in my house or, you know, with a couple of friends and watch some weird movies or some shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Weed is the devil's lettuce. <laughs> do you want to test healing properties? The doctor. <laughs> I don't know. The doctor. Which I think is that <laughs> The fucking focus station. Nurse nurse fucking joy? Yeah. Yeah, she got it. She knows. She'll heal my little poker balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, then don't do either. It's good. Don't yeah. smoke. Don't smoke or drink. There's no point to. They're not good habits to have. Uh, they just cost money. Unless you want to be cool. <laughs> just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> Definitely find it it's super nice just coming home after working 10 hours, sitting, watching a little bit of TV, and just drinking like a beer or two. Yeah. Whenever I drink like beer, Wait. I don't really get drunk. I got one problem with this sentence. A beer or two? <laughs> yeah, depending on you how tired I am. Depending on, depending on how tired I am, sometimes so I... You only have one? If I fucking am going to be like asleep in the next little bit, yeah, I just have one. Can't do it. I have one that I hate myself because I only had one. I get up to three and I'm like, shit. Are 
fuck. Are beer like Lay's potato chips for you? Yes. You just you can't yes. have one. You gotta have multiple. <laughs> exactly. It's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's like it's funny, but yeah, my uh, uncle has cancer and he does all the different things. But he was doing. I didn't do oh, it. that's your fucking phone. But he was uh, edibles and he was getting weed brain from it. Like they thought it was the chemo causing like mental issues. Yeah, and it was the weed. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I thought this was funny. <laughs> she was talking about <coughs> CBD is a good option for people in pain and stuff like that. And then art is a good option. So in my head, I was thinking art's a good option for fucking terminal illnesses. <laughs> and I thought it was real funny. <laughs> I'm dying, please. I can draw. <laughs> oh, yeah. Art's good, though, in any form. Yeah, it's just good to have an outlet for your creativity and like that. What's up, Sick Zion? You feel, dude? I'm right there with you. It's a devil. Just drink beer. <laughs> the yeah. god. The con. See, I don't drink Coors Light. I'll drink Coors Banquet. Let's see. He knows. Coors Light. I don't know. I think only fucking cowboy boot wearing boys drink Coors Light. Probably. Howdy. Coors Light. Howdy. You get a water. You want a water? Rockstar or organic? No, I'm good. Rockstar, Rockstar Organics are really good. Heineken's good, yeah. It's not for everyone, for sure. Yeah. It isn't. I just can't. Uh, the Bay Area? Oh, nice. Where are you at, Go Eagles? You in the Bay, Bay Area? Okay. People smoke pot freely in front of children. Okay. Pisses me off. Yeah, everyone... I think there's a place for, every, for it. Yeah. Uh, you want to give me a red home in a little bit? Yeah, we can end soon. You a sleepy boy? A little bit. <coughs> oh, you're in LA? Can't sleep anymore. That's not good. I get like super tired and everything. And I'll like, close my eyes and I'll just like stay awake forever. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I started watching this new show on Hulu. Uh, it's a cartoon. As uh, Roy Lynn, what's his name? From the other cartoon what's a there's a lot of cartoons out there my guy the pick a rick one rick and morty yeah what's roiland dan roiland is that josh, josh roiland josh roiland yeah him he's a voice in it and it's called hot streets or something like that I can't remember. it's a detective one and it's fucking weird it's just a total adult swim show but they're like detectives and they were hunting mummies in the one episode and the mummy was like seize him and then he fucking shot him and said seize you later and I started laughing so hard it's a perfect dad joke if you're gonna smoke weed do it inside your own place yeah. don't subject others to the smell of skunk yeah that makes sense yeah. you have ear piercings and nose piercing and I look tired all the time people think I smoke dude you described me look at me I look tired Okay, a little closer. See, nose piercing. I got a little, little top on there. In my ears, at one time I had sized up. I had gauges. Sized up. Ah, ah. Oh, you can't even see it really. But. No, that's just the problem. Is you know, weed's newly legalized, so people think that. A lot of the heavy potheads think like, oh, we won. So they just do it wherever. <laughs> Winner. Or just people with no common decency. Yeah. Whether that's fucking stoners or just certain people. It's pretty easy. Just don't be a fucking cuck about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't drink in front of children. Right. Usually. I'll but if, but if there's like a festival or something, you definitely get drunk in front of children. Yeah, for sure. But I don't subject them to drinking. <laughs> or that up in this room. It's not like I'm drinking beer. You're not the parent. You <laughs> blow beer in their face. Like if we're talking about uh, it's a fucking thing they do up in like Snowbird. 
Um, Oktoberfest? Yeah. Like, parents know what the fuck they're, they're getting into at those sure. places. Sure. <coughs> sign language? I wish I knew sign language. <laughs> I don't know. What was the one? Cool. I'm just saying masturbate. Masturbate? Is that? I think so. All I do is... I can't remember. Someone taught me. Who's that other person? Who? Could be Bert. Brittany? Brittany, who? Okay. Yes. Me too. Yeah. I gotcha. About six. About six. Oh man, that just fucking hurts so bad. I don't know what I just did. I turned my arm a weird way. My shoulder blade, like you getting old on us. I'm like fucking LeBron up in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're bringing the team down. Uh, Jones, Alex Jones. What do you want to talk about him? Yeah, I don't know. He's saying some wild shit on Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah, he popped off on Joe Rogan's. Talking about a whole bunch of Joe or Alex Jones stuff. It almost it's weird because it came off like seems like he went extra hard and told extra stuff because you know he's dead everywhere except his own website. He oh yeah. And he said that like the only way to watch is if you go to his website, whatever Infowars, whatever it is. Mm. But. Uh, I don't know. He he talked a lot about the clockwork elves and the government doing a bunch of DMT and psychoactive drugs to communicate with the alien elves that are in the different dimensions and how the government is split into two different branches, NASA and the CIA, and those are actually the two break off governments that control the world that it's not actually the real government that's what I thought was crazy the whole NASA one yeah. um, they're a bunch of you got kicked off YouTube they're a bunch of Nazi scum who's that what's that bitch's name that's running right now the car the feminazi uh, I, don't know. I don't remember yeah dude they were the former YouTube CEO didn't show up for his appointment today in my place of work inconsiderate prick damn you work at a place where the YouTube CEO's going? Yeah, what a dick, man. Fuck him. Or, yeah. What? You're dating Wes? Question mark? Mm hmm? I am dating you. <laughs> oh no. That's why we kissed on stream. Hurley is your last name? Wes and Chandler Hurley. I'm gonna look it up. But, yeah, dude. Thanks, Sean. What do you want to talk about, fucking Alex Jones? If you know any crazy shut, sh shut. If you know any crazy stuff, we'd love to hear it. Like, if you got any insights on YouTube or... Yeah, how the fuck do you grow a YouTube channel? Yeah. Been doing it for a year and got 130 people. Um. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I have an alarm at 12. Why did your phone go off when my alarm went off? That was weird. Did you see that uh, guy that shot that half court shot for $100,000? No. And he yeah. He made it. it was Apparently, yeah. this guy just did it too. For 25000 though. <laughs> They're not banning people like YouTube. YouTube nice. is a lost cause now. It's owned by Google, and Google has agenda. Yeah, dude, fucking YouTube's wild right now. And they got that thing that's going around right now. I was going to talk about it today. We can talk about it now. I forgot a little bit. The secret pedophile ring that's been commenting on videos of children. Yeah. So all the people drop yeah. their, like, at t tons of people are dropping their ads because of YouTube. The thing is, though, what's... That's fucking crazy. YouTube's been around for so fucking long. What's going to be the next thing? Like, who's... I don't know. It's fucking Mixer. hard. Yeah. I don't know. There's just no competitors right now. That's why we stay on YouTube. That's why everyone stays on YouTube. There's just nothing. Stay on YouTube for now. I mean, it's. it's That's what I'm saying. We're still on YouTube. Are all worried about the like, Patreon thing? The what? Patreon. What about it? Oh, that they're tightened down? Fucking things. Yeah, Patreon's changing too. 
I, I we we don't have any worry because I mean no. it's not like we're posting our nudes and shit on there. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. If there's something, it's just nothing. There's nothing right now that can compete, which is tough. Even as shitty as YouTube is, there's, you know, I would love to help. You know the competitor, the guy who has kicked off YouTube stars on YouTube. If you have a link, we'll fucking start using that instead. Yeah. I would love to support someone else. Yeah, that's exactly it. Just YouTube's been here for so fucking long that... It's just hard, yeah. How do you compete with <laughs> something that big? You know, Break tried to for a while. No. Yeah. And so many you do. They won't ban you. You can post whatever you want. The problem is there's no money in it. Yeah. That's no good. money in it yet. That's the thing is you never know. Yeah, it just dude. takes one big person to go on there and start posting their stuff and then talk about it on social media. Got my back fucking itches. It's <laughs> the back scratcher. Oh my god, there's a back scratcher. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, if you uh, oh, tell us what to shit. post, what's the other website we'll post on there. I'm a game changer. I know, I was sitting here just the other one. I was gaming with Salty, and I was just like. <laughs> do you want to end it soon? We can do some gaming tonight. Chill, right? Bah, bah, bah! Why don't you suck my nut? Well, well, yeah, dude, if you guys want to finish up on anything else, real video, okay, we'll check it out for sure. Oh, it's real? Okay, I get what you're saying, yeah. I got you. I appreciate it. I, I didn't understand what you were saying before, real <coughs> video, though. Yeah, we'll check it out for sure. Thanks. I appreciate you. And if you want to come back, um, we do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'd love to talk to you some more about some crazy stuff. Yeah, definitely. We're going to end it here it's soon because we've been going for a couple hours. No, but I've had it for the past like four years. We appreciate you coming in. <laughs> Six time. Yeah, dude. Uh, we'd love to talk to you if you want to follow us. and Yeah. Gank, or if you go to our Discord down below. Or type in explanation point Discord. Yeah. You can go join our Discord and we'll stay in touch with you. Yeah, dude. Because you, you obviously got some... Uh, you got some stories you want to tell, right? You fucking woke. You understand. Yeah, dude. And if you want Discord, yeah, we'll we'll talk to you if you want to call in one time on Discord, we can chat. Whatever you want to do though, but yeah, we're just going to we're going to end it here in a sec. I just don't want to quit out on you right when you get here. We appreciate you talking to us and understanding. You know what I mean? You're a rare yeah, breed in the Bay Area, sounds like, man. But you Conformist assholes. I saw this uh, <laughs> this picture on Reddit, and it was like they're making fun of this. Oh. The, yeah, thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. But uh, they're talking about the South Park thing. You know, like the conf the, the emo <laughs> kids or the goth kids. Yeah. And it was just a bunch of kids that looked just like them hanging out at the high school. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pretty good. But yeah, if anyone has anything else, you want to fucking finish up on real quick before we end it. No way, Shell Shock. I was summoning my Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'll dance for you. Oh, see this, Sheldon? You can't keep up with these moves. Oh, see that? Oh, 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 see that? Dance, dance. Oh, shit, I didn't get from there. See that? Oh, see that, Sheldon? Oh, man, I didn't get in front of the screen all the way. You kind of tripped me out for a second because I forgot. Uh, I think it was moving in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Will Twitch censor us if we post pro Trump propaganda? I have no idea. I doubt Probably. it. No, well, I doubt they would. They can't. Uh, YouTube's doing it. I have no idea, man. I don't know what Twitch is on these days. Old Jeff. <laughs> Too many. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> By you. Yeah, dude, fucking Cortez fucked Amazon. So bad. She like, Ugh! and then she's stopping him in other states too. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, you want to see more of this? So what you were saying holy shit too? Oh, step right up in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alex Jones oh, would take Joe right. Rogan down. Yeah, he would, for <laughs> sure. So fast. He'd put him on the ground. Oh, see that, Sheldon? <laughs> All right, guys, um, 
I know he's got here, dude. We're gonna end it though. We've been going for a while. I <laughs> have a good night. Joe Rogan's an old fart. <laughs> Jesus Christ sent Alex Jones to stop fucking Joe Rogan. Right. Yeah, thanks for stopping by though. We want to call in. Well, we'll have to do call-ins on Monday, my guy. Yeah, we'll do Monday. We're ending it now. Hey, go down below. Go to Discord. You can message us on Discord. But yeah, dude, thanks for stopping by, 6 9 Appreciate you. You're awesome. Um, we'll talk to all you guys. Bye.